And greetings, Internet world. I am Resplendent Seraph. Life is good. My uh, my schoolwork has been keeping me a little occupied as of late, but today I'm gonna binge a little bit of Mech Warrior Five Mercenaries. Merc Mech Warrior Five Clans has now dropped, and it looks fantastic. How's everybody doing? Greetings. I hope everybody's weekend is going well. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, feel free to visit me on my Twitch channel. The description will, or the uh, link will be in the description since YouTube has been so kind as to allow links now in the descriptions. So uh, it's been a little while since I've been on here, um, but I don't think we're going to do much of an intro here. At this point, we're on chapter like 16 or 17 of this. So let's just kind of get into it and figure out where I'm at. So with MechWarrior 5, and with all of my games that I stream, I don't play them offline. I only play them on stream. So, I don't actually really remember exactly where we left off. I know we're in Curita space. We're off in sort of the western area, like Rehasselag area of... Actually, I think we're in the Rehasselag Republic at the moment, because now free Rehasselag does exist. The question just is, what precisely are we doing? And I don't really remember. Let's find out. Load. E yes. Yep, 2024. That's the game we are playing, not 2023. <laughs> hey, Tavari, it has been a while. How are you, my friend? Greetings. I've been off for a little while. So uh, I literally just hopped on and I'm just like, gee, where in this game are are we? Because <laughs> I just don't remember. I've been lurking your streams a little bit, uh, same with Sal. But yeah, I've been a little quiet uh, as of late. I'm pretty good. Uh, I'm nursing a little bit of a shoulder thing, but it's not that big a deal. It doesn't actually hurt. It's just like an impingement. But uh, thus the life of, you know, my recovery continues. I like slept on it wrong. I don't even know if it was related to the neck thing. But, but you know, that's literally it. Everything else has been pretty good. Just been completely inundated with uh, coursework. How is your semester going? Yeah, I hope it I hope so too. Like I could do most motions. It's um it doesn't like to do this motion very much, but it's in the socket. It's just not quite in the socket the way it should be. Um but yeah, I'd love to know how your semester is going. The last the last time we really got to chat was the very early part of the semester. You had just gotten books and everything else. Um I hope your your studies are going well. What are we doing? We're doing lifeline. Perfect to protect and defend up. Okay, so let's take a look here. I think our mechs are okay. Oh, we are. We need repairs. Okay, so we must have just finished a mission. So let's go take a look at that. Good for some classes. Another one less. Aw. <laughs> I I know I know what that's like. Yeah, you take the good with the bad. But no, you'll you'll pull through it. I know. I have faith in you. Um, you've got this. Got 100% in two classes and 71% in another. Yeah, sometimes that's how it goes. Feast or famine. Yeah, it's... I don't remember. Where is this like your first time back in a while? Or is this your first... Or is this like your truly first semester? Because I think my first first semester, that was very much the same for me. I was doing okay in some. And then another, it was not great. <laughs> my first time at university. Okay, perfect. So yeah, it's it, the first everybody's first semester at a university is always an interesting experience because there's that cultural exposure that you've never had. Uh, and university is just a different experience than the K through 12 world, no matter what country or what university system you deal with. Um, it's it's a fun time, but yeah, it's it's a, it's usually an adjustment. So but you've got this. That's that's the big that's the big one, because a lot of times I have noticed Geez, I'm already going to go off on a, on a higher ed tangent, right? <laughs> That's like what I do, right? This is what I study. Uh, 100% from home, so it's different. I mean, it's different, but it's just, okay, yeah, yeah, that is not, that is a different experience. Um, but this may still apply to you, and I think it applies to a lot of students. Um, instructors are really good at providing some information. They tend to be good at... Um, they're good at a lot of things. They're not necessarily good at recognizing when a student's kind of in trouble. And instead of going, hey, I noticed, uh, you know, 
such and such might be a little behind or uh, I was kind of expecting this to be in by now. Is something wrong? Can I help? Instead, it's 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 usually like, all right, well, let's see if the student, you know, figures it out. Um, I wish I wish instructors would be more proactive at identifying students who are in trouble and going, what else do you need? Because almost always, in my experience, it's been something that's um, I don't know if classes so that situation is worth. So, oh God, yeah. Yeah, if you're just if you're not even in class and there's just like assignments that eventually propagate and you don't even have a lot of interaction with your instructor. Yeah, I don't know why we do that. Uh, I, 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 I don't. And, and my institution does the same thing. I'm not really sure why we do that. The outcomes are always better when we have classes, even when they're online and synchronous and all that. It's it's always a better learning outcome. So that's un, that's unfortunate. But um, uh, I, I, I need to not get into a, a, a gigantic pontification of, uh, of my issues with with a lot of the deficiencies in instruction, but at least in my case, I don't think this applies to you, but because you're doing well in most of your classes, just one that's that's been a problem. But oh, like 95% of the time when I've reached out to a student who the grades aren't what I think they should be, it's always something outside of school that's affecting them. And 100% of the time they're like, oh my God, thank you for the help. Yes. I, and most of the time it's just, I just need an extra week. <laughs> and it's always worth the wait. So... Yeah, and I have bad social anxiety. Uh, yep, a lot of our students have have uh, have bad social anxiety. So classes wouldn't wouldn't necessarily be uh, be the solution there. Um, but just the same, since since your instructors aren't there to do it, I will fulfill this purpose. You're you've obviously got this. <laughs> your other classes are doing well. I have the utmost confidence in you. <laughs> And you, you just, you've got this, you've got this. Um, I believe in you. It's, it's incredibly powerful. Those words I've noticed on students, just, just to have them here. Yeah, no, you've got this. And I believe in you. It can be incredibly transformative. You're welcome. And it's, it's like you, and it's not even anything I'm necessarily doing. You belong. And it's, it's there. It can be disheartening when the results aren't necessarily matching the effort yet, but it will come. Just keep at it. Um, so let's repair these. So Seraph, Seraph's easily distracted. <laughs> we, we know that though. It's always a good time, but it's good to see you T. Um, yeah, I haven't been ex exceptionally chatty because most of the time I've got, uh, I've got streamers up while I'm either reading through articles or doing classwork or any, or anything there. So I'll, I'll try and be a little more chatty. I think you were playing, uh, no, last time it was it was chatting. Uh, you probably did get into a game, but at that point I had gotten a little distracted. But um, whoa, what? We, oh, I know what this is. We're putting this in cold storage. Uh, I think it was actually Disney Dreamlight. How was Disney Dreamlight? The last time you were playing that, that was that looked really fun. Star map. What are we doing? Ah, we're gonna be going all the way up here. Okay, we got to go to Candace. All right. So we repaired. Oh, I probably wanted to go over here. That's probably what Seraph was thinking. <laughs> uh, that's all right. So we spent a little much to do it in the conflict zone, but now we don't have to waste time uh, with the jump over here. We'll just go straight to Candace. Let's travel. Clerks are very much appreciated. Done with the nude update early. Dream snacks next week, every week. Sweet. Yay. Yeah, I had to update my PC this morning. Not that it's related to that, but did a bunch of updates because I don't even know if I like turned on my PC up here for a couple of weeks. So Windows had an update. I still don't have the big um, H.264 update, but I think that's because I've got the SSD where if Windows installs on it, it just crashes. So at least Windows update has detected my hardware and there's like, yeah, you're not getting that update yet. So uh, it's nice when things just kind of work out. All right, we just got to kill Max. Cool. Let's do this stompy robot action. We're going against outlaws, a shipping company, mostly supplying food, medicine, and materials to the outer settlements along the periphery is being run out of business by Comstar. Those bastards. Space AT&T is achieving this goal by using the services of local raiders. Your job is to defend the shipping company's main supply depot and prevent it from taking any significant damage, eliminating raider forces as necessary. The strength of these raiders has no doubt been augmented 
by Comstar's ready access to a deep inventory of mechs. So it won't be a walk in the park. Yeah, no, these guys are going to be well armed. We're going to be ready for this. Uh, this might not be the best uh, warm up mission, but F it. Let's let's do some trial by fire. here. Let's at least make some sea bills and then we'll go salvage shares, because if these guys are bringing good mechs, we'll want to salvage them. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> so we got some good pilots here. Good, we've got 60 pilots all around. We've got a good stable of mechs. I'm vaguely remembering what we're doing here. All right, so we're doing a campaign mission. And at this point, Comstar has revealed, been revealed to be the main kind of antagonist faction of the campaign missions. I made up pretty okay on the hurricanes that came through. They mostly missed me. I think I had all of five minutes of rain between the three storms. Yeah, let's just get some, some high ground here. Yeah, we were, at least in my my physical location, we were, we were pretty lucky. I actually thought about streaming uh, a hurricane party, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, if the power goes out, I'll be freaking people out unnecessarily. Oh, you know what? Probably could have... Well, all right. It's all right. We're this far now. We've come this far. Might snow next week. Oh. So unlike a lot of my locals down here, because I live in South Florida, you would be amazed how many people that live here have never seen snow at all. I have one person that actually was going on. Now, they weren't serious about this, but he would frequently joke that snow wasn't real. It was like some Hollywood conspiracy just to add this fake environment for romance, not, uh, romance movies and things of that nature. But needless to say, he had never seen snow his entire life. There are a lot of people down here who have never, never actually experienced snow. And every one of them tells me, oh, you're so lucky you grew up in the snow. It must be so beautiful. And they're very surprised when I'm like, no, no, snow sucks. It's cold. It's dirty. It's muddy. It's slippery. It gets everywhere. It's, did I mention it's dirty and bright? Yes. I can't believe you have to shovel to exist. Right, right. Yes, you have to shovel it. You have to scrape ice off of a windshield. It's the worst. It's the worst ever. <laughs> oh. oh, here they come. Let's go get this guy. Let's kill this thing. Perfect. Yep. All right. Perfect. Okay. Nice job, Seraph. Whoops. Come on, get a lock. Nice shot. <laughs> All right, so we still got it. Let's see, they don't get it. Oh, wow. All right, fine. What? I had something coming in on scopes. Where are they? They must have crested a hill. It's beautiful, but it sucks to... Oh, yeah, it's, it's an absolute misery to drive in. Gonna press the hill in a second. Got it. We still have another. Hostiles are escalating their assault on your position, Commander. Be careful. Let's go over and deal with that. Oh shit. Target acquired. Oh, all right. We got them trying to flank our base here. Now, oh, shit. All right. Well, yeah. Let's go over here. We'll deal with these assholes. You guys deal with that. Ah, shit. Missed it. <laughs> Fire some LRMs at you. Okay. Ah, I missed it. Wow, I missed... I made all those long-range shots. 
and then missed the easy one. <laughs> Go figure. Ah, but I still gonna hit these these missiles. So jump up, and there we go. Oh, I hit the building instead. Whoops. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Let's see, we got these. But yeah, T, nobody down here knows how awful, how absolutely awful snow is. Although even when I drive up north, it's almost like people forget how to drive in the snow. And it's like, I'm from Florida. How do I know how to drive in the snow better than you guys do? I had somebody that like chose to break um, in like this like really weird way. And it's like, no, no, no. You got to go into the freaking spin. Like there's, you're just asking to spin out by fighting it. Okay. Nice job. That person actually did their job. Yeah, it's a Centurion. That's going to be a problem. Uh, I thought it was going to be a problem. <laughs> nice shot, Seraph. Ooh, lit you up. Oh, oh, oh. SRM carrier. Where's Serum so we could say Serum carrier? <laughs> well, she's probably asleep. Whoops. Totally missed that shot. Nice job, Seraph. Ah, shit. Let's see, we got you. Nope, I actually took, turned on the targeting computer, wouldn't it? Got the Igor. Got a couple things. This is going to be the big target. Well, all right. Let's just keep moving over in this general direction. I have a friend that accelerates in large turns. Oh, no. Ha, 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 ha. I'm sorry I shouldn't laugh, but oh, just, oh no. <laughs> All right, good. We got that one. Where's the next group of assholes? We've got, oh, we're only halfway through the enemy onslaught. Wow. Man, they are sending everything after this. Oh, here they come. Target acquired. Targeting info good. You guys destroyed it. Question is where? Oh, we got a dropship. Awesome. That's super awesome. All right. Oh, we got a dropship while these guys come through. And that was a nice shot. And we got these assholes right that got. Oh, my God. That sucks. Go after that. Awesome. Well, this just got crazy. Damn it. We got that VTOL. Ugh. Bastard. There you are. Ah. Okay, I managed to get him with missiles. Oh, don't crash into that wall, Seraph. <laughs> Let's not do that. Oh, shit. Okay, at least I hit its left leg. Let's evade here. Let's go over here while you guys interact with all of that. Good. Got that VTOL. Reposition over here. Yeah. Fucking rifleman. That rifleman's gonna be a problem. Good. Good. You got the awesome. Perfect. Good, yes. Fuck up that rifleman now. Yeah, light him up. Perfect. Okay. That worked out pretty well. We only have like two more lances here. I'm the one that drives us. <laughs> they do, but no bugs though. Uh, yeah, Florida, boy, do we have bugs. Although I've got a cat for the bugs. Reposition kind of in the middle here. Yep. Yep, here's where they all are coming. Let's just reposition the whole of us. At least that VTOL is on that other side of that ridge. Oh, alright. Let's deal with these assholes first. Let's 
see. Come on. Nah. That was a hard shot. But still, I would have liked to have had it. Oh yeah, take out that Cyclops. That thing could be a problem. Shit, here it comes. I went for the head. I hit the head, actually. Maximum Carnage here. Perfect. You got it. <laughs> I love when they say that. I'll let the Lance go after that one. I'll kind of go on it with a broadside here. Perfect. Alright. Perfect. So we got only six more here. We got this. Where are they? At this point, I've got high ground. Oof. Wow, Deal took a bit of damage there. I wonder if that's just armor or a uh, component, like a part of his leg or something. New target, stalker. Damn it. Target. That mech is on our kill list. Damn. You know what to do. Target, we'll go. Yeah, go deal with that, Victor. I'm just going to use LRMs on you. Fuck it. I'm not wasting my gauze ammo. Although I have plenty of gauze ammo. Let's deal with you. Shit. Yeah, I knew I'd lose it as soon as I dropped down too fast. Stalker's going to be a problem. Let's go down here. Deal with this. All my team. Yeah, stupid Jagger around. unit. We're actually doing okay. We'll do up to the Marauder a little bit. Yep, I knew that would come back to haunt me. Fuck. are going after that stalker, right? Oh, that was a thing of beauty. <laughs> there is no extraction point. Okay, cool. Ah, my specialty. Enjoy the lurk. I appreciate it. Good luck with your studies. I appreciate you coming in and lurking with me and chatting, hanging out. It's always fun. Let's see. What are we doing here? We already own a Cyclops. But it's probably the most valuable of anything that's here. But you know what? Let's just take a look and see what we got as far as tier gear. Do we have any... Right, well, we always take four tier gear. Let's see what else we got. I didn't see anything else that was like massive, but you know what, we'll take the medium laser. And at this point, we've already sacrificed ourselves the uh, really good mechs there. But you know what? Now I don't have to worry about LRMs. Are there any? Okay, yeah, we're not going to worry about that. Let's just take... Anything else that's a decent tier weapon. You know, we'll take the two large lasers that are upper tier. Sure, we'll take that other man, medium laser. That works. Perfect. All right, and our pilots leveled up a lot. That was great. All right, that worked out as a warm-up. Actually, I did better as a warm-up than I thought, although... I missed some really up-close easy shots, but I've still made uh, my fair share of long-range shots. Missed a couple at the end there, but you take the good with the bad. Let's see. Good. Everybody except Delaney took out their share of mechs. 
Man, these guys did a lot more mech damage. I mean, still did a decent amount of damage, but I may have to reconsider the Banshee's loadout. This Banshee may not be the necessarily the greatest mech to go in, but let's see if Delaney continues to underperform. That's the way it's done, Commander. Outstanding work. That should dissuade the Raiders from attacking again, at least in the near future. And the settlers out here, well, they could continue to live in their homes and they're on their farms for the safe for the time being. That's worth celebrating, I think. On a side note, I've been making excellent progress on the first set of coordinates your father left behind. Shouldn't be long before I break the encryption completely. But who knows, a few weeks, a few months, there's no way to, sure way to tell. As for the other two sets of coordinates, they're more complex. They'll take even longer. But hey, one victory at a time, right? Yes, indeed. So let's speak to Rihanna. We got some mech to repair, mech repairs to do. Well, let's talk to Rihanna. We're actually nearing the end of the campaign here. Oh, Fahad is up here. Commander, I've done it. I've broken the encryption on the first set of coordinates. About time. Hey, don't start. I wondered myself if I'd ever cracked the encryption. But here we are. Never doubted you for a minute, Rihanna. What did you find? Well, not as much as I'd hoped, to be perfectly honest. Take a look. This is the ancient star map we discovered inside the fortress on Xinyang. You can see where the missing section of the map is supposed to be, right here. The coordinates I unlocked point to this location, a system on the innermost edge of the periphery. I researched it as best I could. All I found was its designation, HD 276914. From everything we know, it's uninhabited. There's nothing out there, Commander. No colonists, no miners, no record that anyone's ever even been there. Why would my father have gone to so much trouble to protect these coordinates? There has to be something out there. I agree. The question is, what? There's only one way to find out. I'll get us to those coordinates ASAP. All right. Once we're there, we'll have a much better idea of exactly what we've unlocked. Roger that. All right. So we'll go to the console. Let's actually review. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll travel there. It's exactly what we were just paying attention to. All right, so we got one Stalker. We've got three out of five Thunderbolts. I don't think we took out any of those, but we did take out some Warrior units and I think a couple of those Mana Cores. So we're moving right along with the Cantina operations. Okay, so at this point, that's going to send us all the way. Yeah, that's that's the end of the game at this point. There's a, there is a, let's just say a story arc that now begins out there. And that truly is the, uh, the end of this game. I just realized Nanad was running while I was talking about that, but that's okay. Um, so the end of the game starts right here. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to start the very end of the game yet. Let's let's work out a couple of these other ones while we get there. So we're right here. Um, rare equipment. Let's go. Let's go to this cantina and repair. Now we're actually going to do this properly. Now that I'm starting to get back into the feel of things of <laughs> exactly what's going on. I'm sure when I ended stream last time, I was probably tired. Like, yeah, we'll do the logistics next time. I ended up just repairing in a conflict zone, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Ooh, LRM 20 stream plus Artemis. That is nice. We will take that. PPCX. We already have a bunch of those. I'm not really worried about that. Oh, well, we'll, we'll take those. We like it. Streak of Serum 2s. I already have seven of those. I'm okay with that. I don't see any other really good equipment, although an LRM 20. Eh, we already have five of those. I'm okay with that. That's really nice. Okay, let's buy those. Because those are the ones that get blown off our Victor. That's a really nice Victor. So now we really don't have to stress that. It's not like we're really hurting for money. We've got 83 million C-bills here. Uh, that was this. Let's take a look at the mech market. I don't think there's going to be anything of particular interest here. Yeah, there is not. Okay, let's take a look. Let's let's actually go into the loadout. Okay, I see how I did this. So there are some times where I'll come into this LRM-20 and I'll replace the LRM-20 with an LRM-15 in this to also... Let's just repair all. But the armor on this 
is already pretty good. We're, we're nearly at 600 points of armor. We don't really don't need to do that. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could remove the LRM-20 and stash a bunch of double heat sinks on here, but I don't see... I don't see that as a net positive for this mech layout. Unless we were going to replace the three medium lasers with like three medium pulse lasers and some heat sinks. But again, I'm not I'm not really feeling that. I think this is a pretty good This this really does seem like a good layout for this. All right, we're going to keep that. Let's repair you. Repair our banshee here. Yeah, it was just armor. It was just pure armor. Man, you got lit the hell up. But you're okay, and that's what matters. <laughs> All right, is there anything else we want to necessarily do here? Probably not. We got a couple of rare mechs, but no hero mechs. I think it's time. Oh, I wanted to check out, take a look at the cantina. Let's see what we got. Collect six autocannon tier threes. But we've already maxed out equipment. Ooh, we've got... All right, we could do this one if we wanted to max out Treasure Hunter. Yeah, an SRM-4. Kill 25 harasser units. Yeah. Tier 5 SRM-4. I'm not necessarily feeling that. Probably not worth my time. Steiner, Curita, Border. Is that where we're already going for this? No, we're going to the Drought Worlds. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just go to Predlitz. Let's see what the Cantina there has for us. I still would like to match out our Cantina benefits before we go into the end game. But if I ever do a new game plus with this, and I still have not done a new game plus with this, I really should. I'm pretty sure you get to keep your mechs, and I'm pretty sure you get to keep your Cantina rewards. That would be an incredible advantage when you're dealing with just low-end, light mechs, medium mechs, where you're getting massive buffs to those, where at this stage... It's really not really that big of a of a difference. Okay, Intersystem Advocacy. Intersystem Advocacy is a non-governmental charity organization. <laughs> I'm sorry, charity organization when it comes to the Battletech universe? Oh yeah, this is going to be rich. We are human rights ac advocates who work all across the inner sphere. And with the war-torn worlds, we sometimes are called to aid. We need to contract with mercenaries for that work. A humanitarian aid mission was sent into drought and famine-stricken Curita worlds near the periphery has gone missing. Despite the aid crew being quite sizable, consisting of 12 volunteers, nurses, and doctors, their jump ship disappeared and is long overdue for reporting in. Oh my god, are these people actually a charity organization? <laughs> That's just crazy. We have received two reports of pirate activity near known bandit strongholds in the region where the vessel vanished. And while these may be false positives, they are the only clues we can pass on to you. Oh my god, these are like the um, the very, very, very good-natured but completely naive uh, missionaries that go to Haiti and just are, are victims of all the violence there. Oh, you poor naive souls. All right, so this is going to be a rescue op. We actually are going to have to rescue people. Okay, we would like to contract you to raid these pirate bases. Our salvage crews will be able to analyze the data you uncover, which will help, under my, uh, which will help determine what happened to our missing volunteers. Oh boy. All right. Well, if, if this were real, I would actually give them a discount to work with them. Uh, collect one Atlas mech. I think we've done that. I don't just I just don't know what mech collector does. Let's see. Mech cold storage. Do I have an Atlas in cold storage? No, I don't. So the only Atlas I have is this one. I'm not trading an Atlas for a uh, heavy rifle. Uh, you ever see Serpent in the Rainbow? I have not seen Serpent in the Rainbow, but greetings, Freakbot. How is your Saturday? <laughs> Hey, Rob, what's going on? Next, we'll bring Christianity to North Sentinel Island. Yeah, like bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how that works out. Oh, my goodness. See, so yeah, how we're having some fun with uh, some 31st century geopolitical violence here. Although I definitely did not see us rescuing uh, volunteers and charity case people on my Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries bingo card. I did not have that. So let's see, let's go into our contracts here, because that was it for the black market. Uh, we're doing a raid. So a combat drop into the desert to destroy the bandits' comms tower as a distraction. 
While the bandits scramble to restore communications, one of our salvage teams will piggyback into their systems and dig for clues that may help pinpoint the aid workers' whereabouts. Oh, boy. So we're just going to kind of try to come in and out here. Oh, no. Uh, just, oh, no. <laughs> so how's, how's your guys' weekend? Let's see. We're going along with this. Yeah, let's ready up. I don't see anything else going on here. We need to zero in mm. on the location of the aid workers. And to do that, intersystem advocacy has to intercept the bandits' comm systems. We'll create a distraction by taking down their relays. And while the bandits are disorganized, we can analyze their communications. Enemy destroyed. Nice job. I didn't even see that. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Let's go do this. Oh, we got another. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. The more ballistics, the merrier. That was a nice shot. <laughs> Fuck. Got it before I could. But there's probably more. Let's just go deal with this thing. Ugh. This sucks. I almost wonder. Oh. Where's that? I was about to shoot the uh, the one comm dish from over here. I hear the VTOL, I just don't see it. Probably on the other side of this mountain, hovering. Direct hit. I don't know if that's actually my target, but I'm kind of gonna just gonna give it a whirl. As I get closer. I hear that V. There it is. Nope, oh, no, that's a tank. <laughs> Target destroyed. Yeah, here they are. Wolverine. But you know what? At least we've got them. Burn that target down. Go over here. Let's just engage these guys at long range here. Think? Oh, actually, I did hit its leg. Two. Right. Good. I'd rather fight an LRM carrier this close. That's a win. They can't even target me at that range. up here. Yeah, something's shooting at me from over there. I got a cop cool off. Fucking desert biome. Up oh, now those other VTOLs are showing up. Of course, now I have to itch like some, like nobody's business. Yeah, shoot that fucking rifleman. There we go. There it is. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> All right, that is how you do that. All right, that worked out really well. I do prefer fighting defense. I at least I find just tactically in this game, it's a lot easier for me. I find to defend a spot with the mechs trying to assault me. 
because you just maneuver a little bit and deal with everything. Now they showed up because we were, I think we were attacking the to uh, hitting the comm tower. Yeah. So now we may as well just go in here and finish it off. Oh, there's a comm tower. Look at that. Yep. Go in here and deal with this one. Perfect. All right. Well, since we're already down here, let's go up and deal with... I don't know. Let's just go up and deal with this because we probably already dealt with a lot of the defenders. So let's just go up here and deal with this one. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. Did you already get it? Yep. There's the Igor. Still one more. Perfect. Good job. All right, good job, Lance. The AI actually doing its job. It's amazing. Although, much as I give the AI grief in this game, and a lot of it's justified, the game also incorporates the pilot level with how capable they are. So when your pilots only have like 10 skill points, they're just they're also just garbage. <laughs> but uh, at this point, I'm now having like, I now have like 55, 60, 58, something there and there out of 60. The max is 60. Perfect. The AI does make better decisions as well as it's more accurate and everything else. So there is, uh, there's something, at least I've noticed that. The, the AI definitely functions better. We just poured a fuck ton of missiles into that thing. Let's see, where, what of that is the likely target? Probably that. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I may not have hit the radar tower, but I definitely hit something combustible. All right, fine. Let's lumber down here and see where it's at. Yeah. Yeah, I missed. Well, we hit it, so that's all that matters. Hit that dervish. out of here let's go mission accomplished let's get the fuck out those were some near misses serum carrier <laughs> yeah do I deal with that yeah let's deal with that I don't want to shoot my guys. Didn't have to. Damn it. My guys was still refu uh, reloading. Ah, I hit the round. Now let's get that hell out of here. Stupid locust. Not bad for a uh, difficulty 95 raid. Good work. It sounds like inter-system advocacy has managed to crack the bandit's communication network. Let's hope that they've found what they're looking for. Process. Mercenary forces on approach. <laughs> All right. Made 4 million sea bills. Let's see, what do we got? Yeah, we'll take the quick draw. Yeah, we'll just take the Centurion. Fuck it. Yeah, give me mechs. That works for me. They actually didn't send that many mechs after us. Works for me. Wait, what's the next one? Hair. And I'm probably going to go down and grab myself another soda in just a second, chat. Let's put you over here. 
put you over there. At this point, we may as well just collect them rather than sell them, because we're still making money hand over fist at this stage. Next one. Yep, they're going to be over there. Oh, let's take a look at Cantina. I don't think that... Yeah, they really didn't... Mm. Equipment collector, treasure hunter. Well, we're already in the drought world, so let's see. Do we want to do this one? Yeah, we may as well do that. Let's finish off treasure collector if we can. That would be nice. And if not, we'll go to one of the other worlds to get it. Yeah. It's time for more soda. I ended up starting a little late today because about when I was about to fire on, Cleo decides, ah, it's time to be an asshole. I'm like, of course it is. But at least she decided to do it before. Um, uh, at least she decided to do that all, all before I actually hit the start stream button. So I was able to just deal with, deal with her and kind of placate her, give her a treat and some food. But uh, she's been quiet ever since. Now I'm like, mm, I'm going to get a soda. And I'm also going to check on Cleo and see what she's up to. It's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> All right, we're doing another raid, huh? Demolish the bandits command center in this region. Not only will that curtail their ability to prey on those who can't defend themselves, we should be able to search the rubble, find solid leads about our volunteers. Right, so we're going to do that. I think we'll do similar here. We'll make four million, and then we'll go salvage the rest of the way. Um, all right, mission starts in three days. Banshee. All right, so do I go with the Banshee, or do I go with a... Ooh, you know what? No, let's just go in the King Crab. <laughs> that'll that'll teach him to not have the Banshee ready. All right, Jack, give me two seconds. I will be right back.
I have returned. Oof. Most of the time, my shoulder's fine, but every so often I bend it in a way where it doesn't really like it. I'm like, oh, right. I can't bend it that way. Yeah, most motions are, are fine, but every so often, oof, we're good there, okay, I'm done being cranky. Sorry, folks, my cat did indeed need something. I finally broke down and just gave her an early dinner. She's always trying to con me, but this time I'm like, well, since I'm streaming and all that, sure. <laughs> it's not that early. I usually just don't like giving it to her very early because, the or all early at all. Head out and destroy the base. Doing so should hopefully expose some sign of the missing volunteers. Because if I feed her early, a lot of times, even if it's as long as it's not too early, sometimes I don't have to worry about this. But if um, whenever I do feed her early, there's always a risk of her asking for food a lot when it is time, and it's like, no, 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 I, I just fed you, I, I just fed you, cat. Like, what are you trying? What are you trying to oh, Of course, it's going to be all the way over there. Fuck. All right. So I think we'll go counterclockwise here. Let's deal with this one that's all the way kind of on its own. Because my concern with these is always, I don't want to sound like a broken record on this, but the danger is always if you get too close to two nav points that are together, all of the mechs and VTOLs and tanks that are set to de defend that spot all activate at the same time. Whoa, I managed to get a headshot on that. That thing's almost dead. Let's see if I can get that headshot here. Oof. Just missed the headshot. Fuck. Well, that was bad. Ah. This sucked. I did not expect this thing to show him up out of nowhere. Fucking blackjack. Destroy that thing. Man, how's that blackjack still alive? Fuck. Alright, good. Now we got this under control. Was a nice shot. Okay. That was a little dicey, but got it under control. I was very worried when that mech kind of eluded detection by going through. I mean, I give it credit. Going through. Whoops. Hit the wrong button. Oh, somebody must have already shot it. Okay, we must have already gotten the location over here. Cool. All right, let's still proceed a little further over this way, just to give us a little extra maneuvering room. Just kind of right up around here. Although I think I'm going to have to go through that canyon. Yeah, we're not going to be able to go on the other side of this. Fuck. All right, well, let's make sure nothing show. Yep, just like that. That. All that. Oh, bastard. Good, you guys got that one. Okay. Since we're over here anyway, nothing detecting. Good, okay. Let's head over here. Quick sip. I'm going to be okay here. Got you. But they're going to have to go around the long way. Not a big deal. I'll wait for my lance. Because I have jump jets. They don't have jump jets, so they can't follow me down. So 
I'm just gonna wait for them to fall up on me. They're coming. That's my fault. I thought there would be a way to just kind of go down a hill, but there wasn't. It was just like that sharp climb. Oh, is that one mech hung up a little bit? Yeah, you're hung up a little bit. Let's go over here. You'll figure it out. I think you're the stalker, though. You're firing LRMs anyway. Good. You're, you're making your way over. It's not exactly the formation I would like, but... All right, Seraph, decision time. Keep going over there or deal with this now. I think let's try to deal with this really quick. Nope, it's totally out of range. I don't want to... F mm. Oh, well, it is what it is. Good. Damn, missed it. Well, you'll show up over there, though. Nailed it. And hit the weapons pod, exactly what I was hoping for. That uh, right torso weapons pod. Oh, fucking thing was in the way. Nope, yep, missed entirely there. Nice shot. One of our assigned targets is fucking dead. Thought you would... Move over, but you didn't. Oh, wow, I missed you completely. Whoops. At this point, this guy doesn't even have any lasers left. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, why is that mech even charging me? You uh, one medium laser, no arms. Like, what, what, what was... What was the pilot there expecting? You had, you had nothing left, bro. Man, we just wasted that mech. Now, again, the Hunchback, that's a scary mech. Because that AC-20 just does a ridiculous amount of damage. That mech alone can just wreck you. Oops. But it doesn't have anything in range, except the hero variant that has a uh, gauze rifle. But I don't think that ever uh, appears in an enemy stable. So that's the good news. Go around this side, deal with whatever this is. Plus, this way, if the computer tries to fuck with us, like that. Yeah, fuck it. That was overkill for a turret, but whatever. We dealt with it. It's dead. Didn't really want to mess with it. Now, let's find out what's here. really don't want to use anything with the ammo. Where's our... Guess it's just that building, huh? Fair enough. Target down. Now we withdraw. We head this way. The last thing I want is to proceed westerly and trip the defenses of both of those nav points. We're gonna come at that one, that more northern one, we're gonna come at that from the north so that we only trip the defenses there. I mean, at this point, you guys probably have a pretty good idea what I'm doing at any given time, but can't hurt just to explain the thought process. Of course, with these mechs, sometimes it takes a little while to reposition. This is one of those cases where patience is a virtue. I actually do wonder with the Mech Warrior 5 clans, 
So MechWarrior 5 Clans, at the moment, looks a lot more like the, in my opinion so far, the best MechWarrior game, MechWarrior 2. It looks a lot more like that one. It's very story driven. From what I gather, there's, it, I mean, you're going to be a pilot for Clan Smoke Jaguar, which for what I recall, I don't believe has ever been the focus of any game. Now, it's been the focus of a couple of books. I mean, it's actually been the focus of a lot of books. Clan Smoke Jaguar was kind of the original leader of the pack of the Crusader clans. Oops. What is that? Is that your unit? I got it. Deal with that Shadowhawk. Plus, when you guys go after that, you should go off to the left to deal with it instead of following me. Of course, it looks like you're going to follow me anyway, isn't it? You're going to follow me anyway, even though I don't really want you to do that. There we go. That works. Come on. There we go. Damn, that was the shot. Man, it's the cool part. I could just be over here out of sight. Mech dead. Fire. <sighs> nice shot, Delaney. Jump. I didn't want to trip the defenses over there, but I think I did. Shit. He's not gonna appear, is he? There we go. That's not bad of you. Head up here. Let's get this. Ow, oh, fucking rock. I think that would have. There we go. Got it with the laser. <laughs> yeah, I hit the cliff by accident. Well, not by accident, but clipped the stupid cliff. Wow, really? Now you're dead. Gotta turn. Nice shot, Seraph. <laughs> it's amazing for some of like the real obvious freaking misses I have. Then there's like a shot like that where I just kind of turn, and I'm like, Fuck, why can't I do that all the time? Hey, Dark Star, greetings, my friend. <laughs> fucking inconveniently placed cliffside. Yeah, that's right. Why is that cliffside just there? Stupid rock. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? You having a good weekend? Good to see you. It was fun dropping in on the raid the other day. I think for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlook that. Yeah, I missed that shot. That's all right. I think it's dead, Jim. <laughs> all those fucking missiles. There were like a hundred missiles launched at that thing. It was ridiculous. Do we get it? Okay. Up. We have an asshole. Shoot you. And then we'll get whatever came up here. Griffin. Ooh, yeah, show your back to me again. Please be that stupid. Oh, you're going to try to punch me, aren't you? Nope, you're not getting away, buddy. Okay, we got both. Perfect. So what that Griffin was trying to do, because I had taken away its uh, long-ranged weapon. Perfect. All right, let's get the hell out of here. 
Uh, so the Griffin, once it had lost its long-ranged weapon, was trying to get to long range so that it could fire its LRMs, because at that range it couldn't fire LRMs at us. Nope, we're leaving. Goodbye. Man, I love jump jets. <laughs> Things are going right. Man, fuck this planet. Right? Fuck this planet. <laughs> Oh, uh, this planet sucks. But yeah, once we get that one cantina thing, I could get the speed boost. And then we won't be going nearly as slow. <laughs> I had the same thought, Freak Bite. You're like reading my mind. <laughs> Man, fuck this planet. Oh, killed right at the end. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Just completely wasted that commando. That was awesome. Wow, we got a lot of tier four shit. Holy shit. Yeah, we got to go for the tier four stuff. I read that as Molly Hatchet for a second, and I'm like, no, no, medium, <laughs> medium hatchet, medium hatchet, not, not a classic rock. <laughs> Although we have been flirting with disaster this entire game, haven't we? Shit, in honor of that, fuck it, medium hatchet, let's take it. Yeah, let's take the tier four of that, and yeah, let's just do this. Let's take tier four shit. Um, I don't have any hunchbacks though, huh? Maybe I should think about that. But I feel like we kind of have to go the tier four weapons here. All right, so we still got seven, huh? Can't get any of these. All right, we'll go with the AC-10. And uh, yeah, we'll go with the two AC-5s. Fuck it, why not? Actually, we'll go with that SRM-6. Yes, it was a, it was a, and it was a good pun. Phoenix Nade. That's that's how good puns work. <laughs> Greetings, my friend. How are you? Yes, it was a, a, an intentional pun. Of course, that's my. Of course, now I'm punishing myself because now I've got flirting with disaster playing in my head. I'm gonna end up pl posting that in our uh, today's jam thing. I'm gonna start humming it on stream, and everybody's gonna be like, "Yep, that's." I'll, <laughs> All because you read medium, medium hatchet wrong. <laughs> no, no, bad serif. <laughs> okay, how is our... Oh, that's a king crab. Yeah, the king crab really does work really, really well. I'm thinking we'll just keep him in the king crab instead of the banshee. How's your weekend going, my friend? When does clans come out? Clans is already out. I think clans has been out for like a week. Um, so yeah, that was actually the reason I'm playing this. I'm like, oh my god, that looks so good. Because both you... And Ghosty uh, sent me clips of, um, like, preview clips of it. Uh, and I'm like, fuck, I got to play this game. Because it looks really good, right? It looks really good. Uh, we were, I was actually just talking about that probably before you hopped on. Uh, yeah, let's do job rewards. Let's do that. Let's get our anti-missile system. Perfect. Now we have weapon heat transfer. Let's actually take a look here. Because, um, yeah, the best... The best Mech Warrior game so far has been Mech Warrior 2, and you play in um, Clan Wolf for that game. I'll mention it to Lou tomorrow when we play Warhammer. Uh, I'm sure he'll be trying to play it, right? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I think we. I think the three of us would have a lot of fun playing clans uh, online. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, so, I had gotten distracted in this particular mission, but getting back on 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 course here. Thank you, Phoenix Nade, for for helping me get back on track. So. MechWarrior 5 Clans, you're in Clan Smoke Jaguar instead of Wolf. And while there are some books on Clan Smoke Jaguar, I don't think any video games occur in Clan Smoke Jaguar. Uh, I know you're in Clan Wolf in one of them, because that, that was MechWarrior 2. I think one of the games you're in Clan Jade Falcon. There's the Ghost Bear expansion for MechWarrior 2, so that's where you were in Ghost Bear. And Smoke Jaguar, for, for anybody, if you don't really know the lore, and I'll get into this when I play MechWarrior 5 Clans, because it's going to be a lot more relevant, relevant when we're playing the actual Clans game, but Smoke Jaguar 
is sort of like the leader of the pack of the Crusader clans, and Smoke Jaguar is the most responsible clan for the invasion of the Inner Sphere. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Jade Falcon or Wolf. Right, right, you got to choose between them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That was really cool that you could choose between them. I think I always chose Clan Wolf, so I didn't really remember Jade Falcon being a choice in that game. But yeah, it was that game was so ahead of its time. Like if if anybody looked back at gameplay footage now, you would probably think, oh my God, this game is so amateur hour. And why did people think this was graphically intensive? And it's like, you just... It's hard to explain how truly revolutionary that game was in a lot of different ways. And for today's standards, it is not graphically in impressive. But for the time, for what it was doing in real time, that was crazy. Yeah, that game came out before Pentium. I think... So I played that game on a 486 DX266 megahertz. But I do believe that game did recommend a Pentium 75 megahertz processor. I think it recommended a Pentium. Uh the very first Pentium processor. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're that's what we're talking about. I think. Now I, I could be wrong. It'd be interesting to look up. Um I think the the required I think it required a 486 33 megahertz or something along those lines. I'd up my old DX60. Yeah, you overclocked it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, to a DX400. Yeah, there was one. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there was a weird series where that socket had improved uh, processors. It was. It may have been by a Cyrix processor, right? Same PC. I ended up uh, unplugging the. It was that PC, right? Yeah. Yeah. I still tell people, yeah, I knew a friend that plugged an IDE cable upside down. And to this day, I still don't know how that was physically possible. Um, but so when I eventually do, there's a friend of mine, I'm going to eventually be building his PC. He's, he's out of town at the moment, but, um, but he did, he did ask if I would build his PC and I'm like, yeah, you mind if we just stream it? Cause it could be informative. And he was like, yeah, sure. And realistically, I should have streamed me working on my PC and building it. But at the time I was still going through my neck thing and I'm like, it didn't work out then because I just had to take so many breaks. And I did. I had to take a break like every five, ten minutes. I just got tired so quick. Like at that point, I was okay. But all of my muscles were just still so atrophied. Everything was exhausting. <laughs> so I'm in here looking for War Dog. Yes, this is the one we need. We need the plus 15 top speed. That is absolutely what we need. So let's view transmissions. Okay, so let's get back on track here. With this, nonetheless, all that suffice it to say, I'm really looking forward to playing MechWarrior 5 Clans. And I know it's weird because they call it MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries and MechWarrior 5 Clans, but it's because I think really the only difference between the two games, if it were me, I would have just called it MechWarrior 6 personally. But I understand why they called it MechWarrior 5 Clans instead, because it's the same engine, it's the same code, it's literally the same game. They just took out all of the story elements of Mercenaries and programmed it with the clan's story campaign. But it's it's basically the same game. Um, five player teams. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? Maybe that's what it means. Five player teams. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I am really looking forward to it. It does look really good. So these bandits did not capture our aid workers. Oh, well, that's, a, that's a plot twist. I didn't see that coming. I must not have played this when I played this before because I don't remember any of this. Intercepted comms messages relayed through the outlaws' bases reveal that local civilians captured our team because they discovered the planet's secret. After the fall of the Star League and the start of the First Succession War, all of the warring great houses embraced total warfare. The continuous usage of nuclear, biological, and chemical weapons of mass destruction cleansed countless cities and killed untold millions. Now what she's talking about there is in the First Succession War, one of the reasons why it was so destructive is because the, uh, the great houses of the Inner Sphere basically tossed out the Ares conventions during that conflict. So everything was on the table and it was just so destructive. I mean, all the succession wars were destructive, but the first so much more so than all of the others. Now there's a little bit of irony in this and I don't know if it's going to come up in MechWarrior 5 clans. That's why I'm going to mention this little bit of lore here instead of my MechWarrior 5 clan stream is one of the events of the invasion of the inner sphere is 
plant smoke jaguar, and I forget the actual world, but they pacify it. But then there's a resistance movement because you know, fuck the clanners, right? Don't don't just uh, don't just surrender the planet. So they're harassing and and doing things that guerrilla resistance movements do. And so Clan Smoke Jaguar is like, this is totally dishonorable. Let's make an example out of them. And they literally nuke the fucking city from orbit. And so the Inner Sphere is horrified, but more importantly, the other clans are horrified. And so at that point, Clan Wolf, which is a war warden clan, their their um a, their interpretation of Kerensky's sort of last testament is that their job is to protect the Inner Sphere, not necessarily invade it. But they still invade it because if they don't invade, the other the Crusader clans certainly won't, certainly will. <clears throat> so it's 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 a little hard to get into the weeds of the of the exact motivations. But Clan Wolf takes that example and it's like, all right, perfect. We're gonna be the leaders and we're gonna not use our uh, space naval assets in any future um in uh in any future order of battle. So for any other conflict from that point on, when they're um, when they're bidding forces, they basically it's their policy not to bid those crazy warships and everything else like that. And really, that's kind of what spells the doom, starts to spell the doom for the clans because that's the advantage they always had because the the inner sphere had is an indu a crazy industrial advantage, even with how ravaged it is. But the clans had the warships. Even with the industrial base, the Inner Sphere had no ability to build warships to combat the clans. Like, it, it just wasn't going to happen. It was a lot like uh, Germany and Great Britain in the lead up to World War One. Germany decided they were going to do this massive naval buildup, but they were never catching Great Britain in, in that time and place. And that was kind of what was going on with the Inner Sphere. And so Smoke Jaguar, by, uh, by conducting that war crime, ends up inadvertently shooting themselves in the foot and started the actual movement to the point where the inner sphere would eventually win that conflict. So anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm getting off into a little bit of tangent here, but when they're talking about mass destruction and all that, that's what, that's what she's talking about here. So anyway, entire worlds were rendered and uninhabitable. It's true. Not until the end of the second succession war, moving into the third succession war as the conflict stretched into centuries, did all of the great houses agree that such unfettered use of weapons of mass destruction would leave conquerors nothing but dead planets to rule? Unfortunately, the civilians on these worlds discovered a cache of chemical weapons and are threatening to use them against their rulers unless all punitive measures are lifted on the planet's populace. Our aid workers have been caught in the civilians' desperation. Now this is starting to make a lot of sense. Although we sympathize with the hardships these people have been forced to suffer, we can't allow our volunteers to die and we, of course, can't allow these chemical weapons to be used. Stop these people before the horrors of the early succession wars are visited on these worlds. Okay, so what turned into what was a charity case has now turned into something, has now turned into real shit. So let's go in here. Let's repair my mechs here. Let's repair these. I think we're just going to keep that king crab because that was way more effective than the banshee. We're now going to Luzerne here. And we did get that. So let's go here. Yep, let's travel. Boom, we've got this. It was a lot. There were a lot of really good Battletech fiction books. Bread for War was amazing. Pretty much anything by Mac Michael A. Stackpole in that era was really good. I can't, uh, I can't recommend the Battletech fiction enough. It's, I know sometimes genre fiction, it ends up not being, like, there's a lot of D&D &D genre fiction. A lot of that is just not very good. But the Battletech fiction is way better than it has any right to be. We're doing, no, we're doing, de oh God, we're doing a demolition. I fucking hate demolition. All right, we, got, we probably have to destroy the the facilities. Yeah, we got to destroy the ancient ruins housing these chemical weapons. So, yep. All right. So let's... Yeah, we're going to do airstrike support. I'm going to hit this thing with fucking maybe two, maybe three airstrikes. I need Thanatos Gilmore to come in and just bomb the fucking building into submission. 
nasty weather means your visibility will be limited out there. Oh man, my Highlander got jacked up. Do I want to wait the 10? Do I want to wait or do we have another? I could bring this. Uh... I could bring the Victor. I'd really rather not. Let's see. What do we you know? Let's see. Do I wait for that? Or do I bring this Victor? Good question. So I'm not a big fan of the Corsair. I could bring the Marauder too, but in my experience, it ends up just being too slow. Um, it just takes a while to fire. Agincourt might not be bad. We usually do pretty well in this Agincourt. We do actually typically do pretty well with the Agincourt. Maybe we'll bring that. But... Let's let's rock the victor. Let's not wait. Let's do this. Ready? Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's go with the basilisk. Attention. Try not to get my arm blown off this time. Emphasis on try. Alright, we got this. Currently, the local oh. populace have been hoarding ancient Star League era chemical weapons. I guess the missing aid volunteers stumbled across the weapons and were taken hostage. The only hope to recover the volunteers is if we destroy the cache of chemical weapons. Doing so should hopefully put us in a strong position to negotiate the release of the hostages. Our employer has okayed the use of airstrike on this mission. Stand by for strike confirmation. What I most like about this is the ECM built into the mech. It does make it a lot more survivable. Of course, I say that before I get completely fucked up, right? Before actually we do that, let's go into weapon groups. All right, good. Those are set up for that. Those are set up for that. And those are set up for that. Cool. All right, well, let's... Let's do this. We got a patrol coming. Plus, it is faster. Up oh, here they come. Right on cue. On approach. There, we got it. Okay, I've got. All right, I don't have the SLCs in here. I gotta. I gotta add those. Okay. I didn't realize that. Okay, so right now my LB ten Xs. They're more like shotguns. <laughs> that part's not going to be great. But they will do a shit ton of damage, and you really don't have to aim very well. Yeah, I can't fire at this range, but... Alpha 1-1, one, one. this is Sierra 2-1. Acknowledging strike pattern. Coming in for the kill. Sierra 2-1, out. Okay, so we'll hit you over there. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> Light that fucker up. We actually took out a couple enemy units in that airstrike. Nice. All right, let's cruise over here. Let's see what we got. Ready another airstrike. I'm not really a big fan. Take out that Zeus. God, I can't even target the fucking Zeus at the moment. Be advised. Strike payload is ready and awaiting your tango confirmation. Sierra Good. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. Sierra 2 1 out. Did I not even hit those guys? Wrecked his shit. Okay, I managed to hit it from there. Over. Our is now Go get him. So 
keep hitting that button instead. Whoa! Wreck that wreck. All right. So even with the um, lack of SLCs here, fine. Oh, really? I didn't get that mech? Okay, I think I got it on the return shot here. Let's just walk through these. I'll keep that last airstrike in case um, that happens. Bastard. Come on. No, no, no. Get out of the way. No! Stop fucking doing that! Oh. Come on, hit that fucker. There we go. I think I hit these guys. I wanted to do it earlier than that, but the fucking... It kept... Um, targeting my freaking unit instead. Thing. Damn it. Ugh. I hate this shit, man. Have you... I don't want that trebuchet to get too far away. Because then it'll be able to hit me. Come on. There we go. Got you. Alright, guys. But yeah, the whole point of that was to use the airstrike as the dropship was dropping. Um, if you target it right, again, it kept fucking going earlier. It's really a shame the... Um, I should have just used it on the structures. It's really the only thing that the airstrike is even good for. Yeah, you guys go after the fucking mech. I'm gonna go after this shit. Okay, we got this. Walls. I do more damage just walking through shit. <laughs> oh, great, we got another fucking dropship. God damn it. That sucks, balls. You guys deal with that. I'm just gonna walk over here. Fire, fire, thank you. Walk through all this. We got this. It's over. Alright, now let's get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, we can't get to that. Oh, God, we gotta fight through these guys, don't we? Shit. Get out of here. Nothing like just kind of running through them. Evade a little bit. <laughs> uh. Time to jump over this. Actually, I don't even need to jump. But we'll do it anyway. What's this little asshole? Okay, good, we got that asshole. Yep, that's it for the LB-10X. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Good, now at least the ship can fire at some of these assholes. Oh god, and a patrol shot showed up? That's awesome. <laughs> Stop talking, Mi Rihanna. Let's just get the hell out of here. Cool. Alright, we took some damage, but nothing crazy. Uh, 
I really wish when they decided, because I mean, you spend pre-drop points to even get an airstrike support. You're spending resources for that. Just let me open up the map and pick a spot. You shouldn't have to do this weird interface in the middle of a battle where you have to stop firing and have this very awkward targeting receptacle that takes forever to actually identify the target. And of course it takes forever because if it's wrong initially, you want to be able to correct it, but it likes to also move around. It's just, just give me the map and let me point like on it. Like why, why is this hard? <laughs> I'm not, I, the only thing I could think of is that they didn't want it to be that easy. But if you don't want it to be that easy, that like, why even making it an option? It's just, it's just, it's just bizarre. I don't see anything in here that's, ooh, small pulse lasers. Ooh, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll go with small pulse lasers. We always take lost tech. We have an option for lost tech, we do it. Like double heat sinks, pulse lasers, hell yeah. All that shit. Anything tier four? Yep. It's tier four, we grab it. All right, and uh, yeah, we'll take two PPCs while we're at it. Cool beans. Anything else of real interest? Yeah, we'll go with that SRM-6. Wow, Fugati and the Atlas actually did more damage than I did. Excellent. Good, yeah, and good. You also did a lot of damage, and that stalker ends up being pretty good. Actually, I may end up replacing the stalker of all these mechs before anything else, which is really amazing. That stalker is pretty good. Okay, so now we've got a lance layout for the most part. It's pretty decent. Let's take a look. Oh, we got we got some really good. Wow, we had some good shit there. They also gave us small pulls. Oh, wow, an ER PPC that was great. I know we'll all lose sleep for months to come. Ooh, pardon me. Because of the many civilians who lost their lives. But we have held the greater good this day. We have successfully secured the chemical weapons cache and will be working with the proper authorities in an effort to safely dispose of them. Among the chemical weapons, we also found a number of mech-grade weapons in various states of disrepair. We have no need of them, so you're free to take them off our hands. Yeah, we will take all of that. Man, they gave us four Tier 4 small pulse lasers. That is awesome, depending on the mech. Okay, so now, what missions do we have? We have this mission over here, a high reward quest over in Tamans. We've got this one over here. So let's see, where, where am I again? Okay, we're all the way up here. So this industrial hub is probably the one we're going to want. Oh, well, maybe this one. Yeah, this one's probably closer. Let's go to Avon and let's regroup. Because we're definitely going to tinker with that Victor. Because instead of the shotgun typical LB-10X, we're going to get the solid slug. That that does some major damage. Rare battle master, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. That might kind of sucks. Okay. Let's let's go in here to the loadout. First things first. Let's repair all. Let's take a look, see what we've got for SRM twos. Okay, it's perfect. Let's take out these two, and let's put these two in here. Right. Oh, we could actually put in these SRM twos instead. Although I don't really. The Streaker SRM2 Stream, or just the standard Streak SRM2. I think we'll just go with the Streak SRM2 Stream. I'm good with that. These tend to hit the same location. I think that worked out pretty well. Let's remove these. We don't want to put in the Auto Cannon Plus LB Barons. We still only have one Tier 4 that we probably just got from that last mission. So let's put in this one here and this one here. Ultimately, the damage is a little less, but the fact that this will do all that damage 
to one location. It's it's a huge win. We we like that. We definitely like that. We're already pretty much at max ammo. I don't think I have a better. Yeah, I just have the black market countermeasures instead of um instead of the Guardian ECM suite. I would rather have the Guardian ECM suite, but I only I just don't have a Guardian ECM suite. Uh, it's just how it goes. This one tends to be pretty good, but it doesn't really affect most of the other mechs. It, um, the range on it just kind of sucks. But the um, hostile LRM spreader is way better. Some of the other things are, are better about it, but it has completely shit range. But it is better than like the electronic countermeasures. So this one, the, dis the support mode range is 160. Um, and you can kind of see the suppression and LRM spreaders on this just are, are pretty decent. But anyway, the counter mode range, you know, 320 meters. Whereas this one, <laughs> counter mode range is like nothing. <laughs> so it really is only good for the mech that it's in. It doesn't really protect the lance like the other ones do. But it's better than nothing. If I find a Guardian ECM suite, the Guardian is going in there instead of this one. But it's, a, it's what I've got for it right now, and I we'll just have to kind of stick with it. All right, that that works. Okay, so let's do that. That is a better overall uh, improvement. We'll repair you. We'll repair you. Shit, you've got a Guardian ECM suite, but um, all right, we'll go with that. You can go into cold storage. Let's do some let's do some logistics here. I don't think there's anything else to do with the Highlander. The Highlander's repaired now. Let's go to equipment. Let's just see what we got. I don't think there's anything really to buy here that's going to be particularly good. But we'll look anyway. Okay. Tier 4 Streaker SM2? Yes. Tier 4 Streak SM2? Yes. I already have four of these, but you know what? Let's just improve our inventory for them. So it's not as much of a concern. I don't think there are any particularly good... Oh, right. Mech Market is over here. We already looked at that. There wasn't anything all that impressive about it. Okay. So we're already... Is there anybody that's like an unbelievable pilot? Nope. Let's take a look at the star map. We got a hero map, mech at Port Arthur. That's probably worth looking at. And then we got a cantina available at Bronton. Let's take a look and see what this hero mech is. Hey, Nunamass, greetings, my friend. How are you? We're obviously having fun with some stompy robot action. Well, not really stompy robot, stompy mechs. Hero blackjack, huh? That might actually not be terrible. <coughs> that would have been much better earlier in the game. Yeah, the DACA on this is crazy early on. So these machine guns, boy, will that will that wear a mech down? Holy shit. So you know what? For the for a future new game plus, this is not a bad idea. This is not a bad idea at all. That is a really nice, that is a really nice hero blackjack. I don't think that's going to be a benefit to us right now, but very similarly to, so there's also a Warhammer. It's called the Black Widow Warhammer, which ironically enough, I think is also the image that uh, one Phoenix Nade used for Solution 9. <laughs> but the Black Widow Warhammer variant, it's very similar to this. It's got like six machine guns or something crazy in it. And let me tell you, when you're in a mech like that, and this one also has six machine guns, when you're firing those six machine guns, things die in a hell of a hurry. It is craze balls. Um, so yeah, I'm going to purchase this. <laughs> so all that to say, yes, we, we are buying that. Uh, cause that's, that's really good. And uh, <laughs> that, is a that is a great mech for its weight. 
but the stuff we're dealing with, it just, it probably can't hold up to, um, to some of the shit that we're going to be doing. I don't really like Artemis in, in the lower missile formats. Like, I'm not a big fan of SRM-4 plus Artemis 4s. SRM-6 plus Artemis 4, no problem. LRM-15 with Artemis, awesome. LRM-20 with Artemis, even better. LRM-10 with Artemis, eh. Because you, the Artemis weighs the same no matter what. So we're dealing with, if you're spending a ton of, it's just, to me, I don't get, I don't think you get good bang for the buck for these Artemis targeting control systems when the weapon itself just doesn't do all that much damage. I mean, it's nice, but I mean, the SRM-4, this is, this is two tons and this is three tons. So, I mean, like, what are we, what are we doing here? <laughs> I don't really see. Yeah, you know what? Just in case there's some arena thing. Or, um. We'll buy that. Just in case there's a cantina where we need to pick up, like, a certain number of these. I don't think we need it, but why fuck around? Got that. You know what? Let's just buy these. I don't think I've got a lot of high tier tag equipment. So it was a decent mech market. We got Avon over here. Got a rare mech on sale at Luthien. Which we may check out on our way over there. So anything else of interest there? By now all yep. I think that was the last of our mechs to be refit. But this is a good use of some downtime in an industrial hub, just kind of torn around. I really wish you could just take a look and see what planets had what for sale without actually traveling there to see what they have. It's such a waste when you have to go there and find out. Ugh. All right. Ooh, Mech Hunter. Yeah, that's a... Ooh, okay. We like that. Kill one awesome... Ugh. Ugh. My only issue with me have these mech hunter ones. <clears throat> it's not kill one awesome. It's kill one awesome AWS 8R. You must kill that very specific variant. And so I can't tell you many times you might have awesomes on the field and not one will be the variant that you're looking for. On the other hand, I mean, it's great tier Great tier weapon and a double heatsink. And we need Mech Hunter. I mean, we need Mech Hunter. We, we, we need to finish that off. But fuck, man. Fuck. Collect two Rifleman mechs. Let's see, do I have Riflemans already? Let's take a look. What do we got? We actually do have two Riflemans. Cool. Let's do it. Collect. Let's do it. Job rewards. We do, in fact, have two of them. We got a 3C, 3N. Perfect. Let's do it. And just like that, we now have another top tier AC5. Awesome. That was so worth it. Mech Collector. Oh, minus five heat generation. That's not bad. The War Dog is what we really want. We're getting closer to it. I wish it had given us a War Dog one. But it is. Um, SRM-4 top tier. Eh. I don't know if I have three NARC missile beacon tier 4s. Let's see, NARC beacon. Do I have any NARC beacons? I may not have any NARC beacons. Yeah, I don't have any NARC beacons. Isn't that funny? I must have never picked any up. Mostly because I don't ever use them, and the AI is not very good with them. Wow, I have zero of them. Okay, so there's no point in even looking at that. Okay, star map. Let's take a look and see what we're doing here now. No other hero mechs are available. Jeez, do I take a look and see what the rare mech is? It's Most of the time, it's a waste of time. I think I'd rather find out what this high reward quest is down here. 
Shit, we still have a high re we still have two high reward quests out in this general area. But that's really starting to take us away from I don't want to get super far away, although we still have to do the Will of Kali. That's out there. Right, or do we did we finally do Yep, Hazing of the Week. We still haven't done this one. Hmm. We have a lot of these that we could still do. Liao, Pre Rahasalag. This one's probably up in our neighborhood. Blood Minerals. Yeah, I remember that one. <sighs> Project Cold Snap. Oh, right. Yeah, this one's pretty good. What What is this one? View System. We're actually not all that far. Oh, yeah, we're not even all that far away from that. We probably should just do Project Cold Snap. Right? Yeah, you'll get we'll get a double heat sink for that and everything else. All right, let's do it. Let's track that one. Let's go. Oh, I'm doing one day. Okay, so let's take a look. Do we keep that hero blackjack or do we put it in cold storage? I don't see myself using it. Let's just put it in cold storage. There's no reason to pay money, perfectly good money, to maintain that mech. But for New Game Plus, I'll be glad I have it. Actually, for some of those lower reputation missions, that actually might have been a fun mech to bring in, but... find out what the story is here. Campaign. Oh, we're going against House Steiner, huh? Project Cold Snap's research base. Oh, defend Co Project Cold Snap's research base from invading Steiner forces. You'll be supported by ISF battle mech defenders at the location, but be wary of the planet's volatile weather conditions. Lovely. Oh, we'll just go with five here. Yeah, we'll go with money. Give me money. Hmm, you know what? Let's try the let's try this basilisk again. It's a slightly easier mission profile. I'd rather have the better speed. And then we'll work our way around. We'll do a couple of these and then we'll start working our way to the end of the game. I mean at this point I, I don't see a scenario where we don't beat the game today. Assuming Seraph doesn't get just horrendously distracted. Because that never happens. <laughs> God, now I have hello, it's me, rolling in my head. <laughs> oh, boo, artillery. Fuck. Oh, that sucks so much. Damn. We need you to do is silence those artillery cannons. If we can't get to them, we risk Steiner forces destroying all of our research. Silence those guns, then clear the field of any remaining Commonwealth forces. <sighs> Blew its fucking roar right off. cool part about the LB-10X, it really does kill mechs really fast. We gotta destroy enemy artillery. It's gonna be fun. Fucking Raven. Boom! Ah! Whoops. Nope, nope, nope. that. Man, I'm so glad I brought this mech. I can't get a good shot. Wow, you survived that? Whoops.
Oh, right in the back. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Good. Nice job. Was going to have to come around to deal with it, but you destroyed it. <laughs> yeah, right? Never. That never happens. <laughs> All right, this is how, this is what I remember being fun about this Victor. Just running around and killing mechs really fast. As long as you're making your shots with these LB 10 xs because they hit the same location, it's just, it's so much damage in such a short time. If you like, if you hit the center torso, it's pretty much done. Yeah, artillery in a fast mech isn't nearly as annoying. Whoops. out of range. I can't hit it from here. Enemy destroyed. That's the problem. This mech is not very good at long range sniping. <laughs> Fortunately, my team should be pretty decent at all that. Thank you. So I think I can just walk into it, can't I? Nope. Perfect. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, I got one of them at least. Perfect. Let's deal with those. Let's deal with the other artillery. Oh, we got a mech coming in. All right. Boom! Sucks to be you, doesn't it? Nah, you missed that shot. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is... If it had survived passing by my allies' mech, I, it was, I was just going to murder that thing so badly. Yeah, they're going to get the VTOL. And it will not save them. Just got to deal with this artillery here. Ugh. It's out of range. Now it's not in, out of range. Hey, buddy. Got it. Oh, we got a mech coming in. Do we deal with it? Yeah, let's deal with this fucking... Let's deal with these two shitheads. I don't want them coming in and shooting our... Messing up our six. They're faster than our guys are. Here they come. Oh, they're coming around that side. Okay, you know what? Fine, fuck it. Oh shit. Back up, back up, back up. You guys deal with the Black Knight. Should be able to hit that. Perfect, good. <laughs> All right, we got a medium mech over there. That guy's going to be a problem in a second. deal with this artillery now. Now we dealt with all those assholes. Oh. 
All those artillery can't. Most of the artillery is already destroyed. Good. Somebody's been busy. I think I can hit that. Oh, I can hit that from here. Come on, Seraph. Artillery's taken care of. All right, we got some other mechs somewhere. Let's go find him. Kill him. Yeah, this Victor isn't as good at against VTOLs and tanks and everything else, but man, does this thing kill mechs so efficiently. And thanks to the Guardian, well, not Guardian ECM, but thanks to the countermeasures, I don't even get hit all that much. At least I get hit disproportionately little compared to what I should be. All right, where's the rest? Got to be around here somewhere. Probably a mech stuck in a hillside, stuck in a rock face somewhere. Sometimes that happens. Where is the last mech? Come on, enemy mech, where are you? Probably some st poor stupid son of a bitch just stuck in a valley somewhere. Running circles while its friends are getting killed. <laughs> Let's see, we wandered all the way over up that way. I don't think we went over this way, though. We just gotta find it. It's probably a locust somewhere. I mean, this, the game glitched on us. That would be, uh, lame. But it's probably not that. I've never actually, knock on wood here, I've never actually had the game totally glitch where you uh like where you killed everything and it just didn't register it i've but i have had cases where there's like one mech hidden in a corner just like stuck on terrain it does happen thinking that's what's happened here i don't see anything up there right no mechs up there Oh, uh, come on, mech. Where are you? Come here, enemy, enemy, enemy. Ah, there you are. It's a serious enemy, too. That is no joke. A fucking catapult? Of all the things to remain, that's actually probably one of the least desirable. saw it briefly. <laughs> yep. It's got both of its LRM-15s still active. Oh, something's doing damage to it. Ah, yeah, we're all just kind of making our way slowly towards it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's... Oh, I can't point at this map. But yeah, it's in the northwestern quadrant. Sort of like where we were, where we were dealing with all those VTOLs overhead. I can jump, but I don't think I can jump that far. Wow, that mech is, uh... That catapult's in trouble, too. Look out, Commander. More oh. enemy mechs inbound. All right. Somebody killed the last... That last catapult. Oh, good. The dropship's going to come over there, huh? Perfect. Let's just go over here and deal with it. Uh, oh fuck, my friends are slow. That's not great. Let's, uh, let's just withdraw for a minute. Oh! I completely wrecked that fucking mech. <laughs> You missed. Oh, that was fun. Wow, you just had a couple of hits. 
Not that one. What are you doing? You're just sitting there. At least this Jenner is doing something. the wrong way. I'm sure the ISF will have many questions for them. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Yeah, that catapult really uh, kind of slowed things down. Thank you. I was worried about that Black Knight. because so, so the Black Knight is just an energy weapons platform. And we were in a Tundra environment. So that thing could just fire and fire and fire. And you see it. It's got lost tech on it. It's got extended range lasers, pulse lasers. Fuck, man. <laughs> that thing's crazy. Fortunately, I kind of shot and then just ducked behind cover, so it lost uh, lost targeting of me. Then that was just kind of it. Um, it never really honed back in on me. Yeah, I'll take that small pulse laser. I will take that small pulse laser. I will definitely take that double heat sink. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go up here. Probably picked up the double heat sink off that, off that Black Knight. Uh, all right, what else we got here? Yeah. yeah, sure. We'll take this spider variant. Why not? At least then I've got two spiders. It'd be good for Cantina stuff. I didn't see anything else particularly good. Uh, yeah, nine kill. Yeah, I, only because I killed the mechs before they could. <laughs> yeah, that victor is fun. Ooh, driver boards. Kill 30 warrior units. Hell yeah. We got another double heat sink. And we got all these. Boosted top speed. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Project cold snap. Good. Now that the base's safety has been secured, it's time for the dragon to strike back. We've discovered that the Steiner agents were attempting to steal the industrial secrets of Project Cold Snap for themselves. And we feel that the most appropriate form of retribution is to strike back. We have our eyes on a remote yet extremely valuable Defiance Industries research plant that produces Defiance branded mech armor composites. We want you to destroy the plant with terror and ferocity that the Steiner mongrels could only dream of. Like, holy shit, man. <laughs> all right. I, I mean, I love the guy's energy. <laughs> uh, all right, right. We can't repair in this system. Where are they sending us? Wait, where are they sending us? Ah. Uh, they're going to send us over here. All right, so let's go to Benjamin here to that cantina. We'll repair there. And then, yes, we are going to upgrade the Highlander's top speed immediately. <laughs> immediately. I'm actually surprised that we picked up this particular... Uh, yeah, we'll pick up that rare LRM Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll pick up a top tier PPC because that is what we will do. Yes, we will pick up those. I don't have to worry about those anymore. Good, 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 good. That is fantastic. Still no Guardian ECM suite. I don't think there's ever a space where you could buy a Guardian ECM, unfortunately. It's just not how that works out. We will take a look at the mech market anyway. Yeah, it just has normal countermeasures in it. Not the end of the world. Let's take a look at the cantina. Collect two charger mech. Actually, actually, pretty nice. I don't think I have two chargers, but let's look anyway. I don't even have one charger. I have no charger mechs. But buying chargers is usually not all that difficult. So that might not be a terrible cantina to pick up. Because I do remember being able to buy cantina or buy chargers 
pretty often, and it just says collect two Charger mechs. So for the opportunity to pick up an SRM-6 with Artemis top tier, that's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good deal. Uh, collect Wolver uh, to collect two Wolverines, huh? Do I have Wolverines? I might have Wolverines. Those are pretty decent. Uh, yes, we do have Wolverines, so let's do that one. Let's do that one first. Oh, was it a, um, fuck. Oh, 6K, collect two 6Ks. Shit, all right, never mind. Yeah, that's the only problem when you get the variants, because then you pick up, well, yeah, it's not there. It's almost impossible to do. Uh, pff, kill 10 demolisher units, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll pick up this one, knowing that it is pretty likely that we're going to be able to, at some point, find Charger mechs. Um, seeing this is a big robot stream, this seems like a good place to bring up news that came out of VoltCon today. The writer-director of the Voltron live-action movie just confirmed that it'll be a whole new group of pilots instead of the characters we've known and loved since the 80s? What? Like, on one hand, why would they do that? Like, why do a Voltron live-action movie... Like, why do a, like, you know what, let's, let's do a Batman movie, but let's not put Bruce Wayne in it. I mean, not quite the same, but, like, that's, that's the best analogy I can think of right now. Like, why, yeah, I agree, Dark Star. All I desire, just, just to see it just went up, it's like, why would you? What, what? Why is the writer director thinking? Why would you do a Voltron movie without any of the characters in it? Ugh, why? Why do they do that? Like, I just, it's mind boggling to me. It's just, it's so, so. Yeah, I don't know. That's the perfect place. You're right, though, Darkstar. That is the perfect place for that news. And I'm right there with you. I, I just, it's not, and it's it's not one of those things of like, grr, rah, why would they do this? It's just pure perplexing befuddlement. I'm just like, like, what is the thought process there? <laughs> like, the whole point of doing a pre-existing story like Voltron is because we already like those characters. We like those characters. Why would you change the cast? <laughs> just... I just don't understand. Let's, you know what? Let's do an F Troop reboot, but we're not going to bring any of the characters back. <laughs> like, what? Like, why? why? Like, <laughs> I just don't understand. Honestly, I'm not completely surprised considering how Amazon... Oh, it's Amazon. Now I understand. Now I do. Now I do. I didn't realize it was Amazon. You know, it's actually a miracle we got the good Fallout series uh, from Amazon. Uh, Fallout, so the Fallout on Amazon Prime is amazing, in spite of the fact that Amazon, like, bankrolled it. But I think it's because Bethesda had a, a very, very deep involvement, and I think Bethesda's involvement is what made that work. Like, there were so many stories where the developers would send a 3D print file so that the writers and directors and whatnot could print it and see what some of the enemies looked like and everything else. So, like, there was so much, like, I, I just, I just, I don't... I just <sighs> Amazon throw money at me. I will make a great series that people will actually like. <laughs> I'll use the characters that are already there. You know why? Because people already like them. Your work's already done for you. Like they might even make good characters, right? I, I at this point I know as much as you do, but like who knows, right? But I mean at that point. Like, you're already reinventing the wheel. I just, I don't, it's so, it's so bizarre. Um, yeah, I got, I got nothing, man. I got nothing. That's just, that's so weird. That's just, that's just so, uh, so out there, man. What a shame. Well, I guess we don't need to worry about watching it. I mean, unless people see it and they're like, oh man, this is great. You know, despite the fact that they're totally different characters, it's, it's, 
it, you know, if they say it's good, I'll enjoy it. Because I'd rather enjoy something that's good, right? My preference, whenever something comes out, I want it to be good. <laughs> like, I want it to be good. I like enjoying things. It's disappointing when you get stuff like The Witcher, where they're like, yeah, we have all this great material, but we're going to do this instead. And everybody else is just looking at it like, but why? <laughs> now I'm thoroughly convinced Henry Cavill was cast to be Voltron because why the fuck not, right? <laughs> Speaking of Henry Cavill, although I don't think Henry Cavill would do that because he understands good writing and I think he gets why people like the things that they do. Um, writing's not that hard. It's it's really not. Like, it's 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 really it's really not that hard. Stephen King was high off his gourd, wrote a book and ended it on the literal hand of God. And he made a career off of that. And that fucking hand of God thing is one of the stupidest things to ever happen in fiction, like history. You get away with so much. People will get, let you get away with so much. <laughs> like we, we come at it with an approach where we're, we're really trying to give ourselves excuses to like it. We will talk ourselves into liking something if we can, but man, you, you, you're not giving us a lot to work with here. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, wow. Wow, man. On the plus side, though, the Netflix Voltron series was really good. I am so glad that was good. Obviously, they went, they did some different stuff with it, and we're okay with you guys doing different stuff when it's good. We like that. Like, you know, who... Like, I personally do like when a little is different and when people take some creative liberties with stuff, but not when it's like totally, not when it's like totally different. Like if it's totally different, just call it something different. Like if, if, if you don't want to write, like if this guy doesn't want to do a live action Voltron, just do something different. <laughs> like, like it's so easy because there are so many properties that are very obviously inspired by other things that are good. Um, like we'd cut you some slack on that. If it's not Voltron, don't put Voltron's name on it. Like we'll, we'll probably like it better when you do that. Like that, like just constructive criticism, right? Or like not even constructive criticism, like good advice. Like if you're writing something, <laughs> you, we don't mind when there's when there are obvious links to it, it's like, ah, okay, Tolkien inspired this or, ah, you know, um, so-and-so inspired this and we can see the cross germination and the, or rather the cross pollination. Like we kind of like that most of the time, but, but if you're writing, like if you're doing a Buffy, this, the vampire slayer anime or something like that, put, put Buffy in it, <laughs> right? Like, that, that it really shouldn't be that hard. The only way this new generation of pilots idea could work is if they're trying to pick up where the Voltron Force show on Nickelodeon left off. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't think so. Because, I mean, granted, I might just be dealing with some PTSD from all the other previous projects, too. And you always give it the honest shot. At least I always give it the honest shot. But, yeah, usually when you have some reservations about stuff when you get news like this it's like oh although sometimes that helps because then you temper your expectations because i find when i have tempered expectations it's a lot easier to exceed expectations than to meet high ones but still yeah that's not that's not great news oh that's that's um that's that's unfortunate <laughs> that's probably the best word to, that's that's good ooh hero battle master huh Let's take a look. What do we got? This might be, be a cool paint scheme. 10 million C bills, medium lasers, PPCs. Huh. Might be worth it. Oh my god, and there's the fucking 6K. Oh. I could have just kept the cantina and bought it. Oh. I'm going to rewatch the VOD and I'm going to see myself deleting that cantina mission. And I'm going to go, oh, Seraph, you stupid, stupid, stupid man. <laughs> I just threw away a cantina that, that, for that right there. Wow. That's, uh, 
That's sad. Yeah, right? There it is, Dark Star. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> oh, so lame. There, it took, it took a second. I'm like, Tiltoid, you're going to eventually talk, right? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I doubt it either. But it's the only viable route I can see on fucking themselves out of the hole they dug. Yeah. I mean, fingers crossed. Voltron was one of my favorite shows in the 80s. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't cost us anything to cross our fingers and be like, maybe, maybe they know what they're doing, and we're gonna be like, you know what? They proved us wrong. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be nice. Ah, uh, we could hope. We can hope. Usually though, when I, it's it's kind of like, but it's kind of like, so it's like a lot like football. Like I could hope the Jets will do well. But they usually don't. They usually disappoint me. This is the Vol Voltron. It's going to be, I feel like this is probably, it's more likely to be the Jets than, than to actually be good. But, you know, we can hope. There's a cost to say anything to hope. I think I'm just setting myself up for disappointment. But what the hell, right? Uh, yeah, let's buy this hero Battlemaster. At this point, a hero assault mech? Fuck yeah, man. Let's, let's go with it. Um, I think I'm, Kind of inclined. To, oh yeah, that spider can go into cold storage. We don't need that. Um, I do. The the banshee's okay, but uh, yeah, at this point we re we can retire that awesome now. Let's retire the awesome. We'll put that battle master in its spot. That'll do. That'll do. And that's an awesome paint scheme. Holy shit. That is that is totally badass. Um, we could replace the PPCs with ER variants. That would be nice. But while we're here, let's uh let's go into let's go into upgrades. Oh, we didn't do any upgrades for this. Okay. So let's let's go into the loadout. Let's repair all. Is there anything else I need to do with this? No. Okay. So let's start work on you. You'll take 3 days. No problem. Let's go into upgrades on this and let's refine the armor. Let's make it Let's make it more durable. Definitely want to do that. Let's um, let's also increase the sensor range. Uh, actually, we don't need to increase the sensor range on that. Target lock retention. Yeah, for that, it, it tends to be up close pretty good. Anchor turn is usually a good idea because of you know, when you're dealing with close quarters maneuvering and all that. Um, yeah, I totally agree, Rob. It, it, the Amazon shows, they're either total hits or they're total disasters. And yeah, there is no in between. Um, and I still stand by my statement. If they had done nothing different with Rings of Power, other than the name, if they had just done a different name on top of that, and other and obviously some other minor changes because you know you can't have Elrond but I mean you could tell that same exact story because they took major limiters from like you I mean you could see sort of the link between Silmarine and that but it's really its own thing it, it really is it's not and it's not it's not bad like I, I don't feel like I'm I'm taking crazy pills by saying it's not bad but people were expecting Tolkien and when they didn't get the expectation, it's almost like, I'll give you the perfect example, right? Because a lot of times this gets really, really charged. And to me, it's exactly the same phenomenon. It's when someone hands you a bowl of M&Ms, but it's really Skittles. Now, if you're expecting Skittles, that's great. We like candy. Sweets are cool and all that. But if you're expecting M&Ms and you're getting Skittles, holy fuck is that awful. And I think that's what did in uh, rings of power like from now granted i haven't seen the second season so i don't know how it how it continued to go but at least from what i have seen i, re I remember thinking like man the production value is good some of the acting is like meh but it's it's good enough um and the story if you took away token's name from it it's really not bad um i think amazon sabotaged themselves I, the only thing I can think of is that the writers had some pretty good inspiration in Amazon. I was like, well, we paid for a token, so you're, you're, we're going to make this token. 
Um, and I think so, to me, that just reeks instead of writers making that decision, I think a bunch of marketing MBAs made that decision to put the name on it. Because if you take that out of there, that show is way better than, than the critical reception it gets. The Tick was awesome. Uh, Van Johnson was actually really good. I don't think anybody saw it. That was uh, John God Van Dam playing himself as a, as like a secret agent. It's goofy and it's it's objectively dumb as shit, right? But if you don't take it seriously, they must have had so much fun making that show. It was awesome. If you have Amazon Prime, I recommend at least checking it out. It is awesome. The tick, the two seasons of it, that was the best tick we ever had. Fallout was amazing. And then there's everything else. And it's just like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? I swear, if if Amazon went to Rob and Darkstar and me as consultants, they would be in a much better position because we could be like, look, you guys have a lot of resources, but there's a little bit of a disconnect between uh, the decision makers and your audience, right? Um Right, I even forgot about Vox Machina. My God, Vox Machina is awesome. Um, although I don't think Amazon has a lot to do with Vox Machina. I think they were smart in that regard because they knew Mercer and all that with Critical Role. It's like, you guys already did this. We're just going to pay somebody to animate this. And so they had, I don't think Amazon had very much involvement at all. But sometimes I don't think people get enough credit when somebody realizes, hey, I don't have to put my name on this. I don't have to meddle. I'm just going to give these creative people the resources they need to be successful. And boy, is Vox Machina successful. Uh, and a case where they uh, push one thing, but deliver something not entirely different would be getting Reese's Pieces instead of M&M's, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my goodness! Yeah, no, like I, I, I think we're all in the same boat uh, in this in the same board there, man. Um, and yeah, I'm much, I would much rather enjoy things. And there are a lot of things that, are, like I said, that Van Johnson show. If you see that as like Seraph like this, you'll be like, he really does. Like I really do give the benefit of the doubt of something. If if it can be fun, I will generally be able to enjoy it. Things like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, no, that's not. That's just not defendable. That's terrible. That is the worst movie potentially ever made. Don't ever watch it. <laughs> just, just don't. Spare yourself the trouble, right? Uh, it's the first show run entirely by voice actors. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's it's great fun. Um, I tried watching the original on um, on YouTube when they were on. Um, oh God, uh, Geek and Sundry, I think, uh, was the original channel before they went to their Critical Role channel. I just, I can't get into, I can't get into watching other people play D&D, which is so weird because I'm such a tabletop fan. I read D&D books. I play D&D. I play Exalted. Uh, I run Exalted. It's super fun. It's just one of those things where I see a lot of people get into it and enjoy it. Man, if you can, I give you all the power in the world. Um, but yeah, this first six middle... <laughs> they killed <laughs> I didn't make a differ. The first six minutes were good. They killed Johnny Cage. You know what? I have to concede. You're right. You're right. That that was. You know what? I hate Johnny Cage as a character. I'm so on board with you there, Dark Star. I hated Johnny Cage as a character when I realized they were gonna make Johnny Cage. So perfect point, right? Thank you, Dark Star. I didn't even think about this, right? I hate Johnny Cage as a character. I hated him in the games. I never played him. I always liked beating him up. He sucks, right? <laughs> but then I heard Johnny Cage was going to be like one of the main characters of Mortal Kombat, the movie. And I'm just like, oh, it's going to suck. It's going to be so lame. I went in the theater and I was like, fuck, I have to eat so much crow because that movie was fucking awesome. <laughs> I never had so much fun chowing down crow as when I walked out of that theater with the Christopher Lambert Mortal Kombat. That was such a good movie. I had so much fun. And then they followed it up with the sequel, and it was like, what the fuck? You know, it's the same thing would happen with Joker. Something was successful, and they're like, yeah, do it again. And we're like, uh, well, okay, if you're gonna pay us money, uh, we'll we'll do something. <laughs> I, I, I just those sequels were terrible. Although to be fair, I didn't actually watch Joker the second one. I only heard, but that's 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 what I sense was what happened there. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, who's did top speed? Let's do that. 
Um, let's see, do I want to do... This thing doesn't really heat up, so I don't think I have to worry about that. Maybe we'll just do damage tuning, and we'll just fire up the damage on this guy. Um, just do s straight up uh, that, although we could just do 10% ballistic damage. I think most of the damage that comes out of this thing is from the LB-10X, so I think I'm better off doing superior detonation. But then again, the missiles really do fuck up some shit. So, you know, we'll just do straight damage tuning. All right, let's do that. And uh, we could just do potent missiles. Could do potent warheads. We could do superior detonation one. Could just do superior detonation one. Where is superior detonation one? There it is, superior detonation one. We could just do that. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just do straight up. Perfect. All right, Victor is done. He's got better armor. Let's do it. Start work. It's going to take like 100 days. Fuck it. We're good here. Uh, let's take a look at upgrades. Yeah, let's do uh, top speed. We're going to increase top speed on like all of these. Because uh, fuck yeah, we are. Top speed, top speed, top speed. Woohoo! Oh, um, and uh, anchor turn. Man, do I really care about anchor turn on that guy? I think we'll do... Uh, You know what? Faster cooling. Because, yeah, the, the, the computer really doesn't like heat. So we'll make we'll make life diff easier on that. First. Perfect. All right. King Crab. Oh, also uh, repair. <laughs> let's do that. Okay. Repair. And let's take a look. Because, yeah, you have, you, have, you have decent shit. Okay. Let's also take a look at upgrades. Oh, you're already... Uh, Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, that being the case, back. Yep, confirm. Let's try that again, this time without the oops. Oh, right, you just have to remove one. Um, yeah, we'll just go without target lock retention. Boosted top speed. Ha ah, ah. Excellent. Good. Done. Okay, upgrades. You know what? I don't think we need to really worry about that, but let's, let's do it anyway. Boost the top speed of all of them. All right. I don't think I'm going to worry about these so much. Because it is expensive to do. Upgrades. All right. I want to keep most of this. I do want to keep that anchor turn because that is helpful in the extreme. That expanded sensor range really is helpful, but of all of them, that's the one to to not worry about. Perfect. Okay. By the time we get to where we're going, we will be uh, fully upgraded. It's going to be beautiful. Hello, cat. Oh, who's a good girl? I'm sure I don't run over Kitty's paws here. Okay. So we are all set with that. Do we have any other hero mechs? I don't think so. I think we're good. We're in good shape here. All right. Sucks about the cantina, but what can you do? Ugh. Oh, so lame. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's go to Meekum while we go up to Burgess here. We'll see if there are any hero mechs worth picking up over here. That reminds me, I need to see Terminator Zero. I heard that was really good. I keep forgetting to check that one out. I'm actually not watching any anime this uh, this season so far. Nothing really kind of reached out at me. Is anybody watching anything in the current in the current season that's like, oh, Seraph, you gotta check this out. What are you talking about? 
see no crazy things in here. Probably isn't going to be anything, but we'll look anyway. I don't see anything over here. Or... Okay. Star map. Fine, let's take a look and see whatever hero mech this is. It's probably a hero locust or some other dumb shit. Oh, you did finish Delicious and Dungeon. I still have to finish it. I'm like halfway through it. I did enjoy that. I did. I came into that with no expectations and I was so delightful, uh, delightfully surprised. Uh, that is definitely a, uh, a nice, almost like a parody of Lotus War. <laughs> it is, it is great. Hero Black Knight, huh? Well, the Hero Black Knight is not bad, man. Um. Hmm. Could buy the Hero Black Knight. And part of my rationale for spending money on these hero mechs that aren't necessarily the greatest is I'm hoping that I will eventually get a hero mech that's actually good. Like that blackjack on a new game plus, we are totally rocking that hero blackjack. We're going to maul things in the early game with that mech. It is going to be insane. Uh, the, the sheer DACA of that thing is going to be awesome. Uh, and Dragon Ball Daima just started airing a few weeks ago and Dragon Ball Daima is good. Eight million C bills for that. Let's just do it. Yeah. Um. Cause yeah, I'd rather have. I'd rather go in with that hero Black Knight than the hero Thunderbolt. The hero Thunderbolt's not bad, but this thing overheats, just so so crazily. So yeah, we could put this Thunderbolt in cold storage now. It was a neat idea, but uh, but now it's all right. Oh, did I not repair this? Let's repair that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so yeah, we did buy that. Let's go see this cantina and hope that it's not super lame. What's up, cat? Yo, oh, who's a good Cleo? Who's my good little monster? Yeah, you little monster. Yeah, I love you too. Oh, kissy, kissy. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll try all the cannon five. You like though? Yes, we will buy that. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, we're gonna buy an all, all AC5. You kidding me? Hell yeah. Ow, a lot of ER large lasers. Um, actually, yeah, that's probably worth at least having two of those. You know what? Yeah, let's have a stable of those in case I have a mech build for that. I now don't have to worry about losing a couple of parts. That works. Okay, let's take a look at this cantina. Give me something good. All right, now I don't have to worry about War Dog nearly as much. Ah, uh, yes, we always want to collect gauze rifles. So I just need medium chemical laser tier fours. Huh? I need three of them. Do I already have? That would be nice if I already have. Medium chemical laser. Not medium chemical laser tier fours though. Shit. Might be worth looking into though. I could just keep the cantina and keep an eye out for medium chemical laser tier fours. Because a good tier four gauze rifle is worth the effort. Might be worth the effort. Medium rifle, I don't give a shit about. It. Although, that one might not be so bad. Yeah, we'll take two million C bills in that. Uh, I've only seen the first episode so far. I usually reserve judgment till see. Yeah, I find three episodes is a good, is usually a good threshold. If an anime doesn't grab me by three episodes, it usually doesn't. There have been times where I've heard from people like, oh, you got to wait till like seven episodes in. It's awesome. And I end up watching the whole thing and I'm just like, I wish I had stopped after three. <laughs> uh, that that does tend to be the, the right amount because sometimes the first episode or something might be a little weird. Uh, yeah, I have a three episode trial. Yeah, I agree. That's that seems to be the magic number. It really does. Um, yeah, let's go with that because the tar computer with tier four with that top tier target acquisition gear is usually worth it. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't have uh, 
I don't have anybody with tag at the moment. That's where the Banshee really, that's where this Banshee came in handy. Because it has tag. And it makes the rest of the team so much more effective. Although, fuck, man. So the problem is the Banshee just doesn't, uh, doesn't really do a whole lot. I wonder if there's a way I can make this Banshee better. would be better. They do like having target acquisition gear. Really do. But, um, let's see. What can we do about this guy? Let's improve it. Let's improve it if we can. Let's put in a top. Let's put in that one. Yeah, let's improve that. Uh, wow, you've got a lot of double heat sinks. You should be just wasting shit. You know, this thing doesn't take a lot of damage. It really doesn't. So let's take out this PPC. Because the heat also on this will be better. I got three of them. They're just the same. We'll put in... We'll put in the that one instead. Range on it's much better now. Hello, Cleo. Hi, baby girl. Who's a good girl? You good kitty? Yeah, you're a good girl. What you doing, cat? Are you a good cat? Yeah, you're a good cat. If a show's suggestion requires going past episode three, the suggester owes me one beer. <laughs> no, that's the suggester owes me one beer for every episode I have to watch until it gets good. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, that'll make people think twice about, uh, although in each case, like in the case of that, where the people made that recommendation, uh, they really did think it was good. You know, it's not like someone was just trolling me, but yeah, I, I like that plan. You know, if it, if it doesn't work out, I should get something in return. All right. So the heat on that's only five heat on this is six. So maybe I should go with a slightly better Weights five tons, weight seven tons. Problem is, what am I doing with the weight? With the weight gain here? Um, not sure what I'm doing with the weight gain if I do that. And there are cases where it genuinely does take that long. Yeah, no, there are. There are cases where it genuinely does take that long. I can't think of many, but there are a few anime where it's like, yeah, you really do need to wait to like episode like six or seven till it, like it really takes off. Like without getting into spoiler territory, um, even though I did enjoy it, but Steins Gate is a lot like that where it takes a little while for it to take off. But when it takes off, it's it's just great. It's an amazing show, but it starts a little slow. Um, you know, I've heard Gintama is like that. I, I think the entire first season is like quote unquote weak. But um, then that, that show takes off. Oh, who's got a toy? Oh, Cleo's got a toy. Then there's One Piece. I've actually never watched any of One Piece, uh, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> I know it's kind of probably a surprise. But uh, but yeah, I have not actually seen uh, any One Piece. It's kind of a, probably a surprise for most. You know what? Let's, let's do that. Let's put you in there instead. And instead of, uh, I'll just put single heat sinks over here. Actually, we could just put single heat sinks in the leg. Actually, we'll put single heat sinks in. Morale, what happened? Did you knock your toy into the door? You should probably knock your toy into the door. Uh, if you like Steins Gate, then you'll love the Zero Escape games. Yeah, I got it. All oh, right, I got to play that. I've got to totally play that. <laughs> I meant to do the, I, I meant to actually connect PlayStation uh, the remote app to try that because like the game or if there's latency, you don't need to necessarily worry about it. Um, so yeah, firepower is down a little bit, but the cooling heat is definitely better. It generates less heat. Okay. Maybe that will help this Mac. Let's, let's start work. What you doing cat? Give me two seconds. Let me just see what, let me see what my cat's doing. What you got? Oh, did you get it free? Did you get the toy free? What you doing? Oh, you got your toy. Did you get it free? <laughs> She's just being a spaz out in the hallway. Sorry, I'm trying to decide if I should go and get it for her. 
What you got? What you got? Oh, you got your toy. Okay, she got it. <laughs> she got it. She got it. She's having fun. <laughs> oh, my my cat. <laughs> oh, ow. I just kicked the table. Ooh. Oh, that sucks so bad. All right, let's take a look at upgrades. Um, yeah, let's take away target lock retention and let's give it the faster speed. Definitely want our entire lance going faster. That is amazing. Okay, perfect. Is that already done? Cool, good. Okay, let's take a look at our star map. Uh, right, I already take, took a look at the cantina. There wasn't anything of particular interest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just watching my cat play is like one of the greatest things ever. She's just like smacking. So I got a new toy for her and she's smacking around the new toy. Oh, are you enjoying your toy? Yeah, are you enjoying your toy? <laughs> it was a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my fucking cat. All right, uh, right, we're going to Borges. Uh, yeah, Borges? Bourgeois? I don't know. We're going there. <laughs> and then we'll probably go up to Tomans. Nothing else that I've forgotten to do while I was distracted by the cat, right? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Especially since at some point I gotta play those so I can return them to you. I don't want to be borrowing it for like... Although shit, I think... How long have I been borrowing it? I've probably been borrowing those games from you for like, what, six months? Something like that? been a while. They may have even been longer than that shit. Uh, right. This is where we would get that dragon. So this is what I was expecting to do much earlier. This is actually a really cool dragon. It's really fast. Uh, oh, it's not the same dragon I thought it was. Never mind. This is kind of a lame one. There's the other uh, mission where you get a mask equipped dragon. Yeah, since WrestleMania weekend. Alright, we're good to go here. Let's do this. All right, House Kirito, friendly. It's time to strike back against House Steiner. It's time to strike back against Steiner. Find the Defiance Industries manufacturing plant and reduce the location to rubble. Ah, so this is going to be... Oh, they're not going to give us airstrike support. Fuck, that sucks. Oh, well. All right, we'll take a little bit of salvage, but I think we'll just go get paid. Oh, wow. Not really a great C-bill payout. Fine, give us salvage then. Let's go... Let's go mostly savage. Yeah, we'll go in with that, with the Victor Basilisk again. Let's do this. We'll ready up. Yeah, the next time you do one of those uh, WrestleMania host parties, I definitely got to join in. I, hell, I have to join in on your Discord at some point. I was actually talking to FreakBot about that uh, dinner yesterday. I am like, yeah, I really should just crash the lounge one day and just shoot the breeze with you guys while you watch. Because wrestling is, is so much fun. Now, granted, I haven't watched wrestling in ages. I think the last time I was, like, into wrestling was when they did the uh, merger between then WWF and um, Eric Bischoff's um, wrestling league. Fuck, what was it? I need to be there more often. Yeah. Light that complex up like a New Year's celebration, Commander. Hell yeah, choose from a rock. was instigated by House Steiner Loki agents looking to steal the project's research and development in Myama Technologies. Much better with better speed. Combine will never be tolerated. The dragon demands retribution, and that is exactly what you will deliver. Your target is a remote Defiance Industries manufacturing plant, specializing in the forging of Defiance-branded mech armor plating. Raise it to the ground, and your contract with the Draconis Combine will be considered fulfilled. Target applied. I'm detecting unidentified mechs in the area. Out of range. To investigate. Enemy destroyed. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. 
I do let man, the top boosted speed is such a godsend. It's a shame it's just the 10th one. But uh boy is it makes such a difference. I don't think I can hit that from here. What? I don't know if I hit that or not. <laughs> I think they did. No, I definitely hit that fucker. Wow, I hit that twice. Damn. Yeah, it's a shame we couldn't uh, bring in airstrike support for this, but oh well. Let's just uh, fuck shit up. I don't want to use my AC-10, because I only have so many shots of it. Oh, someone's shooting at me. I think it's my own guys, though. Nope. <laughs> smashy, smashy. <laughs> nope. You. Now that I will definitely shoot. Something is shooting at me. Ow, what the fuck is shooting at me? It is shooting at me, I just don't see where. Damn. I thought I could hit it from beyond range. Oh, I hit the damn turret thing instead. Whoop. Lift it up off of that second. Last second here. That's a problem. Okay, that was a nice kill because that mech was dangerous. We've got this. Very good, Rob. I'll see you in a little bit. Enjoy your food. <laughs> Great, we got reinforcements coming. Get the hell out of here. Has been flattened. Now, let's get out of here before more trouble arrives. Head to the evac zone. Destroy. New target, Orion. I got line of sight of that fucker. I think my, I think my lance mates are going to destroy it before I will. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> that was fun. Sorry, I couldn't actually, because it was happening so fast. Yeah, right? <laughs> I may not have explained too much about the strategy there, but when I saw that Victor, so its primary cannon is an AC-20. It's a pretty much close range weapon, but um, but it's only got a certain range. But within that range, it's incredibly lethal. So as soon as I saw that it was the standard Victor, probably. Damn. It stopped allowing me to move. I hit that mech of the headshot, though. I almost took its head right off. I just needed one more shot. Oh, well. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, that Victor, 
the idea is as soon as I saw it, I started backing up to keep, because uh, at that point, my LB-10X cannons, it was in range of that. So if I had closed the distance, it could have hit me with its AC-20, but I just kept my distance. I just kept shooting at it. Yeah, um, it's this mech. This mech is awesome. It loves to kill things so fast. I don't know what happened when we first got this, because we were so snake bit. I think we got cored like twice. <laughs> uh, it was it was just the worst luck imaginable. All right, let's take a cicada just to have it. Medium laser. I think we're just gonna end up with a bunch of shit here. Um, hell, you know what? We might even want to take that panther just just to take it. Yeah, we don't really want this stuff. We'll just go with that. We'll go with one PPC. That'll be done. <laughs> but yeah, we we just obliterated that place. That was awesome. And we didn't even bring in my really good mech. My Highlander is generally better than this, but uh, the Victor can really just take care of business really fast. Okay, so we've got Cantina there now. Let's go there and then we'll head... Oh, demolition contract. Uh -huh. Let's go, we'll, we'll repair real quick. We'll see what the cantina's got to offer. Is what it is. Uh, and then yeah, maybe we'll head up to the northeastern part of the map and maybe we'll, we'll beat the game here. Still have to collect two chargers, huh? We had so many chargers. Once upon a time, now we're going to have a hard time buying chargers. Watch. Medium rifle, don't care about that. Yeah, same thing. Collect. Oh, it's collect same fucking thing. Wow, really? You guys suck. Um, can I buy an atlas? No? Can't buy an atlas? Yeah, alright. I get, is it the same cantina? Maybe it's the same cantina. I mean, I needed to just come and repair it anyway. But, fuck, man. Alright. Is what it is. Uh, yeah, let's toss that panther over there. Same with the general. We'll just toss it over there. Yeah, alright. Repair. And then head to Tomans. Let's see what's up. Let's do it. Right? It does. It does sound like a sauce. It will have the linguine for this. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Depending on how it's pronounced. And the dropship is cool. A leopard dropship is just like a cool thing. Oh, we're almost there on the mana cores. Wow, we've gotten nowhere on the demolisher units. Market. I'll just check for... Okay. Can't hurt. The dragon in sheep's clothing. All right, destroy an Arcturan guard's base while impersonating a Federated Suns unit. The guards are a combat command with centuries of history, and they will live up to that legacy. Resistance will be high indeed. All right, well, let's make three million. Let's go salvage the rest of the way. In this case, yes, we'll go with the Highlander. Perfect, thank you. Actually, do I have a better SRM-6 at this point? I might. I should look. I'm not sure. Might though. Um, that being the case, yeah, let's. Although boy, I could replace. Could do it in the Battlemaster, but I think one of the nice parts about the um. There it is, the Banshee. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah, I'm probably better off. Bringing the Battlemaster, honestly, even though it's 10 tons less. Well, no, I've, I've re-equipped it. Maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. Let's, uh, let's go to Battlemax. Let's go to Battlemaster here. Or the Banshee. Oh, the Banshee's still... Mission starts in eight days. Banshee's being worked on. You know what? We'll wait the eight days. We'll wait the eight days. We're almost ready for it. Let's uh, go to weapon groups. All right, so the PPC is first. Tag should always be first. You know what, though, we'll do... Nah, all right. Tag should always be first. We'll go with that, ER PPC, large laser, LRM-15, and then AC-10. I think that's... Yeah, this works. 
This works. Let's do it. Alright. Ready up. We'll wait the week. I've never actually been one to like crack my knuckles. But I can make the gesture. <laughs> Let's do this. I think things are already shooting at us. Whoops. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. We've been given call signs matching the digital signatures of a Davion unit. Now it's time to push forward and destroy the base of the Arctur and Gods, which shouldn't be far from your location. Shit, I should have taken uh, airstrike support. Oops. I hope I do not end up uh, regretting that decision. Because the airstrike support does help against static buildings. I'm sure you'll be fine. Nope. We got somebody over here. Oh, he dodged. Little bastard. Stop doing that in a second. Yeah, much better when we're not completely slow as fuck. I mean, we're still not fast, but we're now not this like just blatantly lumbering thing. Now, eventually we'll find the Highlander HM, which is the hero version of the Highlander. Much better. Much better heat situation. I tend to put double, uh, I tend to put pulse lasers in it. That is a great Mac. I haven't found that, but we'll, we'll continue to look. I also like the energy variant. Uh, Highlander, because you could put an ER PPC in it. it. Tends to work pretty well. It's really good for war zone missions where you could just stay in the fight for a really long time, hit things with that PPC, kill them before they even come within range. You make a lot of money off that in a mission like that. This one, I love the gauze cannon. It has no uh, heat practically. It's got amazing range. But man, the fucking look at this hellhole, shithole planet. My god. This place got fucked up in the first succession wars. Holy shit. Or the first succession war. You know what I mean. Fuck. Actually, I wonder if I should approach this place from the south. But, nah, let's just go straight. Hope for the best. Eh, we gotta, gotta patrol here. Hit it. Oh, it hit me first, though. That sucks. Oh, well. That patrol's dealt with. I don't remember these tracks. I wonder if uh, in an update, they updated these. Or I just didn't notice. That's never happened. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, thank you, Banshee. <laughs> he literally just turned nonchalant and just blew that tank away. That was awesome. All right, here we go. A literal tire fire? Oh my god. <laughs> I just... oh, here we go. Yeah, I knew I'd probably hit that fucking pillar. Oh shit. Nice kill, Seraph. Target 
I should have been able to put that right in your back. Somebody else got that kill. It's alright. There it is. I'll leave the rest of the demolition job up to you, Commander. Hit its head. See if I could do it again. Nope. Not through lack of trying, though. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Wow, that turret's still alive? Man, I got that turret. Shit. Okay, while I walk through these walls... Ah, oh, fuck, drop ship. Damn it. Just what I didn't want. Fucking drop ship. Alright, how much damage can we do while those assholes are over there? You guys go over there and deal with that while I keep continue to smash. You guys can keep them busy for another minute or two. Alright. I think I can avoid these guys anymore. I just smash through the nope can't if I can do this do some damage while I'm on my way Headshot. Alright. Got this. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that hunchback could have been a problem. Come on. Out, 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 out. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Whew. Yeah, I managed to get a headshot on the uh, on the Highlander. <laughs> Bastard. Okay. Whew. Yeah, those demolition missions are always a little bit of a shit show. Ah, uh, I didn't quite take enough for that. That would have been a good one. That's the energy variant. Oh, I did core it. I thought I got a headshot, but its head is still there. Damn. I hit its head, but I didn't core it. Or I didn't, I didn't take its head off. Fuck. Well, so much for that. I will take the ERPPC, though. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Oh well. Any double heat sinks? No? Well, doesn't hurt to look. 
Okay, I've got 11 shares left. Yeah, sure, we'll take that javelin. Fuck it! Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, I love the tag for the Banshee because it helps the other mechs, but it just, it's... Delaney in that Banshee just does not hold his own weight, man. Um, I gotta do something about that. That Banshee just is not, is not cutting it. Granted, we're, we're doing enough where we're still doing well in these missions, but yeah. Much better in the King Crab. I bet would do better in the Battlemaster. That Banshee just ends up not being a great uh, mech selection. It's unfortunate. All right. So, Field Commission, Omega Security, for your eyes only. The Dragon is pleased with your work. After you destroyed the base, we uncovered additional transmissions regarding clandestine Davian envoys traveling into Steiner space. You were to cause a distraction on a target world so our personnel can hack into Lyrin's comms relay in hopes of discerning what the Davian envoy is planning. The distraction we have in mind involves striking a warehouse complex. Several large ice mining halls destined for shipment to water poor worlds are waiting pickup there, and another Arcturan Guards Battalion is stationed on the premises. Striking this facility will decrease a distraction that will upset that entire region long enough to let our agents accomplish their mission undetected. Alright, well... Let's prepare you. It's mostly just armor. But yeah, I can't I can't keep taking that that battle um this banshee in there. It's got decent stuff. I just um Like it's got decent stuff. Maybe let's take a look at the uh weapon group. Maybe what I need to do is take these up. And maybe just put the tag down. Because the tag is going to activate no matter what, I think. So maybe I'll push it down. Let's see what the difference is there. Let's experiment. We'll do it one more time. Considering these are fairly... Oh, God, another demolition contract. Motherfuckers. All right, fine. Do I go to Shala first for the cantina? Nah, let's just go to Basarabia. It'll be fine. Sorry, I thought I muted the microphone. I was just like, what's up, cat? <laughs> I hear her meowing downstairs. She's probably asking for dinner, despite the fact that I fed her already. One of the reasons why I don't like feeding her so early. I'm up here, kitty kitty. What you want? Let me go deal with her. Let me deal with cat cat here real quick. I will be... Right back. <laughs> All right, sweetie. I'm coming. I'm coming. What's up, baby girl?
Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> It occurred to me I hadn't actually given Kitty Cat her after-dinner snack. I think that's what she was meowing for. She's good. Now she's got her pet. Now she's just going to cuddle around. Oh, you're going to move? Oh, okay. Going, going, going to take a nap, huh? Okay. Now she's going to go for her afternoon, her late afternoon nap. As is tradition. Demolition. All right, we already got the description. This time I am going to do that. Oh. Now we'll go this route. It's a shame I didn't have enough salvage shares for that Highlander, but even if I had gone max shares, I don't know if I would have gotten it because I just didn't do enough damage to it. At that point, it would have just taken more, more salvage shares. That was a nice Highlander variant, though. I do like the energy version. Is, and it is what it is. The weather's really kicking up, Commander. Your visibility will be limited out there. Let's do this. Okay, it's going to take a little longer to prepare than I thought, but here we go. There it goes. Ah, I love this track. Juju, ju, ju, ju. Let's go fuck up a facility. Yeah, if I were playing multiplayer, I think the way we would do this is uh, I would actually pull out that dragon that does have the mask. And one of us would just be in that. Once more, we'll be operating with a forged call sign signature of House Davion. Rather devious indeed. Airstrike support is available on this mission. I'll let you know when they reach the target area. I think if I play my cards right, I should be able to launch an airstrike against that way before. You know what? I think I can. I think I can launch an airstrike against it from all the way back here. This is Sierra 2-1. Strike support is ready and standing by. Over. You know what? Up up on this rock. out of range, aren't I? Yep. All right. It's not going to let me do it from all the way back here. That would have been nice. Oh, well. All right, fine. Let's get a little closer. Of course, I could just shoot it and wait for something to show up at me, but I think I'm better off just trying to get close to it. the hair strip. It is a very awkward uh, option, shall we say. Good. It doesn't actually look like that big of a facility, too. That hopefully means... Let's deal with whatever. Splash target. That works. Ah, uh, they've got line of sight to it. They're on the other side of that fucking hill. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Nope, still can't get to it. Damn. I have to get closer? the fuck, man? What's the point of an airstrike if I can't... I, I have visual range of the target. I could see the fucking thing. 
whole point of an airstrike <laughs> is to be able to actually call in the fucking airstrike on something far away. I could hit that fucking thing with artillery from further away. There we go. Let's see, how much damage are we going to do to those buildings? Let's head to that high ground. Let's take a look here. Did I not hit the right target? Shit, did I not hit the right target? It's got to be the target, right? Yeah, it's got to be the target. That didn't look like it did... Is it just me or did it not hit the target? Like I targeted that building directly. It didn't look doesn't look like it did any damage. Fuck, I wonder if I was too far away for it to matter. Mm. That's so annoying. Like it's already a fucking difficult sh fucking mechanic to work. Wasted that fucker. Yeah, it's out of. Oh, okay. Shit. Damn it. Okay, you're lit up with tag. That blackjack. That hit. That was almost really fucking bad. Alright. This time I am not crazy, right? We're gonna target this. Do damage this fucking thing. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I must have been too far away the first time. Damn. That really sucks. Alright. So I wasted the uh, first one. Fortunately, that second airstrike really was effective. I don't think I destroyed the tank. Let's get the hell out of here, though. Mission accomplished, anyway. What the fuck is that firing? Already here. No. Okay. New dropship. Get the fuck out. Never mind. <laughs> we've we've done well enough. Uh, we got 
more fucking VTOLs. It's not worth continuing to shoot at it. I must have just missed that VTOL like twice. Oh my god, they just launched another dropship. Holy fuck, man. Yeah, these the Steiners are a little pissed at us. <laughs> Time to leave. Hopefully we have enough salvage to pick up that charger we killed. That was the main reason I wanted to stick around. I saw the charger and I was like, ha ha, ah yes. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me, game? Really? Share cost 27, I only have 26. So yeah, the airstrike that never hit, if I had used that for salvage instead, I would have had this charger. But no, not only do I not have the charger, the airstrike didn't even hit, just to add a little more salt in that wound. <laughs> oh, fuck you two, game. <laughs> oh, you, like, you gotta laugh at that shit, man. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Oh. What did I select? I'm select a small pulse laser. Yeah, well, let's just pick, take the Battlemaster. Let's just take the Battlemaster. Mother. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, though, the ba the Banshee did better this time. I mean, it didn't have as many kills, but it did a lot more damage. So, yeah, maybe I did just need to uh, move the tag down. It was obviously still, still tagging. They, uh, I do need Thanatos doing my strikes. Fuck yeah, I think I said that earlier. Maybe you weren't here at the time, but yeah. I said the same exact thing uh, earlier. I was like, God damn it. I need to just be able to call up on the line and be like, hey, Thanatos, I need you to burn that building down. Ah, <laughs> uh, God damn. All right. So, yeah, field communication for your eyes only. Part three. We have broken the encoding on the intercepted transmissions and have verified the location of the neutral site where the Steiner and Davian envoys are meeting. In the name of the dragon, you will eliminate the House Davian delegation while operating under high Steiner colors. We've arranged for you to arrive in the target system as merchants. It will give you the chance to drop right on the heads of the Davian envoys and their security detail, utterly destroy them, and dash any hopes of a lasting Steiner-Davian alliance. Our enemies cannot be allowed to unite. Right, so let's go over here and do... Up, oh, we're going to go to Cuss It. Yeah, cuss It, really? Uh, oh, uh, real quick, let's repair. So we're repairing in transit. Put this Battlemaster over here. That Battlemaster cannot function. Move it. 13 days. Boom! All right. Still no demolisher units. That's interesting. I wonder, so when you do a bunch of missions and you don't get any of these, this is something where if I see a bunch of Cantina missions and they look better, I could just abandon this one and go with something else. Mech market, no charger. All right. Oh, right. I didn't get the charger anyway because I didn't have enough freaking salvage. I'm better about that. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, oh, that makes me so. Let's uh, let's go eleven salvage shares. That should be nice. All right, confirm. Mission starts at twenty six days. We got that damaged? I didn't realize we took that much damage. Um, shit. I may. I need to wonder now. Um. Pilot who needs minus two or better on 2d6 to hit 
since snake eyes always fail, you could do crazy shit with a penalty of minus five and still be gold. Yep. Yeah. And I re so what 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 Phoenix Day is talking about is our, our offline tabletop Battletech game once upon a time, which was awesome and so much fun. Uh, yeah, he, he is a pilot would do all sorts of like these asininely crazy maneuvers and they would just work. <laughs> and of course, in clan structure, they always looked down on mech jockeys. I mean, even the inner sphere did that a little bit, but the clans especially did that because of their honor system. And they would always have to like bite their tongue after, you know, Nade's doing all this crazy bullshit. And it's just like, yeah, what now? <laughs> it, was, it was just awesome shit. Uh, yeah, I need to figure out. All right. So what, what is taking so long? Uh, what's the one that's actually taking forever? Okay. The Atlas is what's going to take forever. So maybe instead of this Atlas, let's, let's have you bring in the King Crab. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm willing to wait the four days. Let's do it. Yeah, right, perfect. Welcome back, everybody. ...are meeting up in one of the military headquarters buildings in this region. They'll be surrounded by a heavy security detail, so prepare for a fight. We gotta destroy... Essentially, we're gonna have to destroy a single building at each of these three locations. Oh, fuck this. going to be that building most likely kind of scope it out from here i kind of would be inclined to shoot it but all it's going to do is spawn like a hornet's nest so actually hold on a second hold on a second seraph's starting to think yeah let's get their attention I see a big open field where I have the high ground. New target, Orion. <laughs> he ran for cover. It's still not going to save him. hit that fucker. It's not even in sensor range. I could still hit him from here. All right, that's the end of that fucker. Now we'll proceed to this target. <laughs> yeah, I was about to, I was just about to talk myself out of that one too. Until I was like, yeah, that would be what would happen. I'm like, yeah, that's what would happen. <laughs> New Oh shit. Fucking trash can. I knew something was over there, but I knew I'd kill the blackjack in a second. Probably did not get that fucker. Nope, nope, nope. You're not going to punch me. Damn. Enemy destroyed. All right. 
got that under control. So that was uh, less than ideal. Just gonna stomp on this building. Target destroyed. <laughs> Literally. Target Literally destroyed. just stomped it like fucking Mario. Yeah, there's that J. Edgar unit. We got it this time. For you. Yeah, fire. Fire missiles. Oh, you still survived that? Let's see if there's anything to salvage over here besides this fucking turret. Sometimes salvage will spawn in the corners like this in these buildings since we're here already. No, no such luck. All right, well, couldn't hurt to look. We had that fight anyway. All things aside, even though that was not the cleanest of um, engagements, worked out. Managed to get through it okay. And in that one, we only have the building. Because we already destroyed all the mechs around it. That's good. That's the one that's already been defeated. Yeah, let's go over here. Well, I could do peekaboo over here, get their attention, and then come up here, fight them in here. But I I think I like the idea. Walk on up to the to pick it up. I like coming over here and fighting on the high ground instead. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. New target. Some Cargo acquired. Oh, somebody showed up. Fuck. Vulcan. Oh, we missed. Well, you guys got the jump on me. Nice job. Where is it? Somebody else destroyed it. <laughs> I shot into its already dead body. It's not exactly the fight I wanted. Someone's gonna get that. Oh, you guys didn't get that? Shit. We still need to get that other one. Damn. Job. Let's just run from that asshole. Okay, where's the building in here we need to destroy? Fuck. Let's get down here. These guys are fucking up there. Come on. Ah. Oh. I can barely get a shot. There we go. Hit it from here. We're just peppering that fucking hunchback, but... Alright. I don't want that Thunderbolt fucking up those two mechs that are stuck up there. 
damn it. And they're in the way. Ho ho ho, threaded the needle there. Hit that fucker. You guys should be able to handle that. Unfortunately, did some damage to my king crab, but oh well. It is what it is at this point. What's the building? Thank you. Thank you. Oh god, we gotta be up here. All right, fine. God damn it, Fugati. It's my own fault. I saw they got stuck up there. Those are expensive components, Fugati, man. Bastard. It was that Thunderbolt that did all that damage. Oh well. Probably blew off an arm. Yep, blew off an arm. You can even see it. It's only got one arm. Nice job, jackass. Of course, as soon as I saw that dropship land there, I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a problem. I didn't think half my lance would stay up there, though. How bad is it? I mean, other than losing two fucking AC, Ultra AC5s, that's really expensive. So this mission was not worth it as far as cost. Bastard. Yeah, just... Oh, man. Total L on the balance sheet. Yep. Million five... <laughs> yeah. Total payout was a million eight hundred. Total damages was seventeen. We didn't even make a hundred thousand Seabills on that. Basically broke even thanks to Fugati. Fucking up over there. Oh well. That's two missions in a row we got really damaged. Dude, man. Killing me, bro. Alright, let's go to the industrial hub. Let's fix the king crab there. Doing well until the end. And even still did okay. It's just broke even. Just not great. That. Still no. Still no uh, Centurion. Or uh, Charger. Of course not. They give you a billion Chargers early on. You know what? I may do that. Yes. You might see what I'm thinking in a second. Uh, yeah, we'll always buy awful slicers. Why not? That is going to be so expensive to repair. Ugh. Yeah, give me OC5s. Give me another AC5. We'll go. We'll go with those speak SRM2s as well. Okay. Alright, I don't see anything else here that we need. Cantina! Let's take a look at the Cantina. Collect one hunchback. Do I have an hunchback 4H? Probably not. Oh, I do have an H, a 4H. Cool. All right, fine. I will take that for a top tier ERPPC. Hell yeah. Thank you. We will do that. Flame. Booyah. All right, we have finished off Mech Collector. That was cool. That was very cool. What's here? Eh, top tier for large laser. Meh, may not be worth that. Probably isn't worth that either, but Mask Mark 1. Like 3 Mask Mark 1. I think I have that. Equipment. Mark 1. I don't have that many. Okay, not, not a worry. Let's go into here. We'll repair you, no problem. 
You, on the other hand, you fucker. I replace one of my tier three auto cannons, but not the other. I only had so many of them. Uh, all right. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. So here's the question. The ultra auto cannons are nine tons, right? The LB 10 X's are a little heavier, but the AC fives are eight tons. And I don't think the computer really uses the AC5, the ultra part of the AC5, as much as it could. So I could just replace it with standard AC5s. That way I'm not as freaking upset about it when it loses them. But I'm not really all that bent out of shape about it. We've got these. It's fine. Fuck it. I'm just going to make fun of him, but he's, he's fine. Here you, you guys get to go over here. Where did that sound come from? <laughs> did somebody play a blurp? Oh, there it is. Hey, Sal, how are you? <laughs> that explains that. <laughs> how you doing, my friend? <laughs> I was going to say before you even saw the comment, I'm looking around and I'm like, is that a blurb? Is that Sal? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Uh, yeah, we're playing some MechWarrior 5. Had a had a little bit of an interesting last, um, last mission, but it's all right. Doing all right. Doing all right. Just been buried with classwork mostly. Figured I'm behind on classwork anyway. So it was like, yeah, let's let's just de-stress. We'll have some fun on stream. We'll blow up shit. We'll do some stompy uh, robot action. It's going to be fun. And so far, it has been fun. Oh, right. That's the hero catapult. That's why it's undamaged. We could start selling some of these mechs. Yeah, I may as well sell some of these panthers. Jeez. Got enough panthers. Could sell some of those wolverines, too. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them. Although that might be... No, that's not a hero variant. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not that hard up for money. Maybe I'll just keep these for a little bit longer, too. Oh, I picked up Ravens. Probably because those are good Cantina mission ones. We're doing pretty good here. All right, so we've repaired that mech. Let's take a look at the mech market. Still looking for chargers. It's not going to give us chargers because... You know, fuck us, that's why. <laughs> I don't see any hero mechs. Okay. I don't think there's any other reason to stick around this industrial hub. So, the question then becomes, do we advance? You know what, maybe we should just go up to Hermagor. Because then we could start making our way. This is what we want to do. We want to make our way over to HD 276914. Uh... Good to see you. You're lurking, buddy. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate the lurk. I lurked you a couple of uh, a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. I've been a little quiet, but I've been I've been like around, just kind of like watching and shit. Um, but yeah, with with the school lurk I've had, yeah, I I totally get the lurking. Like I think Tavari's still her lurking. Uh, she's like in the same boat I'm at as far as like dealing with a bunch of schoolwork and it is what it is, man. You know, responsibility, learning, higher ed. Oh, the fun. <laughs> uh. But yeah, since we're actually, you know, interacting, glad, glad to hear things are, things are good. Uh, at least hope everything's good. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? I think I do want to kind of head up, head up here. By the time we get there, we'll be able to do this mission and then we can start making our way over. What we'll probably do is aim for this industrial hub and then make our way up here. Let's do it. Let's do this one before we make our way all the way over there. I mean, there are still some campaigns that we missed, but we can always do them after we quote unquote beat the game if we were so inclined. You know, it's an option. 
Happy transmissions! Let's see, greetings, Falogum Gumi. You may be surprised to hear from a Yakuza organization from Hasselagan planets, but I assure you, we can be found on nearly every system the Draconis Combine once controlled. Now, before you rashly reject our offer, <laughs> let me tell you, that's my first instinct is to just go uh, ignore. But let's see what his offer is. Uh, pay no heed to those who would paint us as criminals. <laughs> You're not exactly up to a good start here, buddy, but hey, why not continue? Regardless of our organization's dealings, all Yakuza Gumi share a deep cultural tradition. Our ultimate loyalty lies with our local community. When calamity strikes, we are foremost among those who provide aid and disaster relief to the people we and our leadership have sworn to protect. Perhaps knowing our true aims will help you decide to work with us. Our listeners in nearby systems had heard rumors of impending pirate attacks near the periphery. We have attempted to pass these rumors off to local military channels so that something can be done to forestall them, but this region of space goes largely ignored in favor of hotter conflict regions. In the interest of preventing disaster before it can strike our community, the o uh, Oyobun of the Lagumi Gumi, or the, the Lagum Gumi, the, thank you, seeks to hire you to defend the planets under our protection. All right, fine. Let's accept it. Fuck. <laughs> We're doing a defense, huh? Against pirates? Yeah, well, we'll always take missions against pirates. So the Werewolf Legion is gearing up for a raid in this system. This band's usual modus operandi is to put civilian population centers to the torch so the rest of their force can hit the actual targets while locals are addressing the disaster. Stand in the Legion's way and prevent them from needlessly killing innocent civilians. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Let's, uh, wow, this, this is going to be a profitable mission. Actually, I kind of have, at the last fucking shit show, yeah, I could use some, I could use some money. Give me five million sea bills, please and thank you. We're reading heavy weather warnings out there, Commander. Oh, wow, the king crab's already fi fixed? Shit. On this mission. I'm actually kind of surprised. But still, let's go back to the atlas. You do generally do, you generally perform better in that atlas. So let's do it. Do a defense mission. We got this. I already polished off my water. That's fine. I will hydrate after the mission. We need to move past, Commander. Oh, the shit. pirate band, known as the Werewolf Legion, are bearing down on a nearby settlement. The residents have gone into lockdown, but tens of thousands of innocent lives are still on the line. It's up to you to protect them. Looks like we made it here just in time, Commander. Glad you could make it, Commander. Scouting reports detail hostile Fuck. forces are fast approaching. Hope you're ready for a fight. Well, this is a shithole. Take defensive positions. Prepare for incoming hostiles. Man, the visibility is total ass. Oh my god. Look at this sheer, utter shit show. And I can't hit the walls. We will do serious damage to them. Fuck. Wow, this blows, man. Alright, I'm gonna primarily be used being relying on my sensors here. That's not great. Where the fuck is that enemy in here? Damn it. I know you're in here. I right, got it. New target, Good. Go after that. Oof. Well, this is going to be a rough mission. Holy shit. Well, I hit it. Can't fucking see for shit, but it's here. Not good. Thank goodness, because that hunchback could have just wasted us, man. <laughs> All right, well, this is where the shit show is going to begin. All right, the trebuchet is what needs to get destroyed here. I knew I'd take 
I think I'll try and deal with this Vindicator while they deal with the Trebuchet. Oh, never mind. Centurion time. Ah, behind the rocks. Fucker. Oh, right in the back. <sighs> Risky shot. Man, I'm just wasting this. Thank you. I can't believe that Vindicator just, like, ignored me the whole time. Yeah, go after that commando. Because that thing can, uh... It's kind of like a glass cannon. It's like a sh it's the mech version of a shotgun. Oh fuck, a warhammer? I don't think I hit that warhammer. Good. You got the commando? Yeah, miss me with the PPCs. Good. Hitting it. I can't see what I'm hitting, but I'm definitely hitting it. Fucking commando, huh? Bad news, Commander. More hostiles inbound on your position. Get <sighs> wow, we haven't even gone through like half of them yet. And I can't see this guy at all. That's not good. All right. You guys deal with them. Within range? Good. Got all three of those guys. Oh, thank goodness this guy exited the area. <laughs> See if we can get to these guys before they can hit that area. Oof. This is like 10 shit thanks to the weather. <laughs> I mean, this might be the most poor visibility environment I've ever played in in this game. This is bonkers. Really didn't want to fire those missiles, but here we are. All right, we're really hurting this Orion now. Fuck, man. Ouch. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, Jesus, another stalker. Fuck. Deal with you. Can't see for shit. I think it's there. Yep. Direct hit. Okay, now that my heat's a little better. We got it. That was a serious mech we just took down. Come on, we can't even... There we go, thank goodness. Ooh. All right, I think that was over there. Holy fuck. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go over here first. Let's deal with this shit. Yeah, let's deal with this commando. And then we'll clean up on the return. We're actually gonna let them do some damage to the garrison. We're gonna let that take some damage for us. 
Because I don't know what that other thing is, but it's an assault, and that could be scary. So let's... We're just going to let the facility... Deal with the light mech first. That way we're not being outnumbered. Because what I didn't want was to be completely surrounded. This way we kind of hit the left flank and we'll just chew our way through. That's kind of what I'm hoping to do. I am hitting it. So I must have line of sight to this thing. Seems like it was a good strategy. Although that those two are now in there. Alright, let's deal with this Victor. I think that's a... Yep, that's a hit. Good. I have line of sight to it. Nice. Doing a hit and run. No big deal. Come on. Thank you. Got it. Yeah. Uh, I hit it with the LRMs there. But I definitely hit a building with the gauze cannon when I just tried to shoot, so there's something in the way over there. Good, you're coming this way? Perfect. Let's go around this way. Yeah, you know what? You're going this way. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Good job. That was dicey. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Having an entire fight in a goddamn dust storm where I can't see more than like 20 meters ahead of me. It was bonkers. <laughs> we did it. All right. Holy shit, that thing had an assault katana? Well, shit, I should think about that. <laughs> I should think about that. Come in with a fucking Highlander that wields a freaking assault katana? Yeah, you know what? That's worth thinking about. That is definitely worth thinking about. We'll take this PPCX. And yeah, we'll take that LRM-10. Unless there's a uh, double heatsink. We will take small pulse laser. Always take tier four lost tech if we can. No double heat sinks. Got a couple of small pulse lasers too. So we'll take those. Perfect. All right. This ought to be fun. <laughs> that was blinkers. Holy fuck, guys. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now we made some money. That was so worth it. Job awards. Oh, we caught, we killed three stalkers. So we got ourselves a tier, a top tier AC 20. Nice. And maxed out mech. Oh, we've now maxed out everything. We have everything maxed out. Sweet. Mech capacity is actually not bad. Plus 10% heat capacity is not bad, man. I mean, it's expensive to apply to a mech, but that is pretty nice. Okay. We have another mission up in Susquehanna, which is funny. Uh, I'm actually from like Susquehanna, sort of from Susquehanna County up in Pennsylvania. Uh, so it's interesting to see the Susquehanna there. Um, let's see. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Do I go to that industrial hub first and then return? Or do we just deal with Susquehanna here? You know what? Let's go to the industrial hub. 
Let's go to the industrial hub. Let's repair. Let's in let's tinker with that Highlander we just picked up. Because if it's got an assault katana, and we could put an ER PPC on that instead of a PPCX, we might be able to we might be able to have some fun with that. That would be a good. Oh my god, we got another rare Highlander. Oh my god, it's the same one. <laughs> it's literally the same one. Uh, but no, it's cheaper to repair because that's nine million to buy this one. So let's see what happens by just repairing the one we've got. Granted, it's going to take a while to repair the one we've got, but just for the amusement of it. Uh, wow. So it comes with a PPC X, but let's, uh, all right, let's, let's remove you. We'll remove you and let's remove you. And now we repair. All. Okay. So, wow. It's already going to take 85 days and nearly 3 million C bills. Holy shit. 3 million fucking C bills. Ouch. Ouch. Although we can put that assault katana in there and see what happens. Um, it's kind of hoping for. I don't know. I guess I don't know what I was hoping for with this. I guess we'll take a look here. Salt Katana. That's the primary expense, though. So we're still ahead of the game. I mean, we're still going to save 6 million sea bills versus buying the uh, the main one. So large missile slot. Let's try. Could try putting an LRM uh, 20 in there, but I'm not really feeling the LRM 20. I don't think we have the room for it. So let's put an LRM 15 plus Artemis. See a tier three one. Do I have anything better than that? I think that's what I've got for LRM 15s. All right, so let's put an LRM 15 plus Artemis in there. Just to see. Let's put that in there just to see. Oh, wow, only two tons left. Yeah, that's, that's where we're running into this. Um, hmm. Instead of that, let's put in ER PPC. Okay. Dead. Double heat sink. It still is going to cool heat pretty decently. But now we can go over here. Could put in an SRM 4. Four tons. With an SRM-6 plus Artemis. Could go that route. Oh, I do have NARC. It's up here. Right, NARC's a missile slot. Right, I do have... But I just don't have the Tier 3. Didn't matter anyway. I didn't have the right ones. But... Alright, so just for the amusement of it. So we're still three tons shy. So if I put a double heat sink here, double heat sink here, and a double heat sink here. Okay. Oh, I need to put in LRM. Oh, right. SRM ammo. SRM ammo. SRM ammo. SRM Artemis ammo. Three. Rem Artemis ammo. Plenty. Damage is technically lower. Which is interesting. Oh, right, because the PPCX does so much more damage. But the PPCX, the range on it, really kind of sucks. I'm not a big fan of the SRA, of the uh, PPCX's sheer short range. But it's nice because it doesn't generate 
nearly the amount of heat that a typical PPC does. It's a great weapon for the AI. It's not necessarily a great weapon for my playstyle, where I try to be very tactical and hit them at a range where I can hit them, but where they can't hit me. But the PPCX is a great weapon for the AI. Now, I may give... Now, who knows? Maybe what I should do is give the AI this fucking mech, right? <laughs> just instead of a small pulse laser, put in a tag unit and let an AI just go to town with this thing. But this might be a really neat... This might be a good, neat Highlander alternative to the one I'm running that has a lot more longevity. Like if I think I'm doing a war zone mission where I'm going to need to stay in the fight for a while or like a defense where I'm like, oh boy, we're going to be dealing with a lot of enemies because your primary weapons here isn't a katana, no, no ammo and an ERPPC. It's an energy weapon. You just keep firing it. Your, your fusion plant in the, uh, in the engine just powers it. I like this. I, I like this. Do I have a better small pulse laser? I don't think I do. But uh, let's look anyway. No, I don't. I do not. That's actually the better. That's a better small pulse laser than anything I, I had. Oh, no, I've got 10 other tier four small pulse lasers. But uh, I don't I probably don't need to put in as many double heat sinks as I have with this. So let's take away one double heat sink. Let's take away another. Ah, OK. I do need to have a double heat sink in the mech at all. So, you know what? Let's put it in the same one as the RPPC because I don't think I'm as worried about losing the katana. Although this is where all the ammunition, the explosive ammunition is. Mm. Yeah, all the heat sinks are kind of on this side. Well, you have enough. At this point, I have enough double heat sinks. Uh, oh, but then the weight. Uh, yeah, I mean, I got to put weight on here. I could just put, um, single, I could just put single heat sinks. You know what? Let's do that. Instead of putting something valuable over there, let's put a single heat sink here, put a single heat sink here, and we'll put a single heat sink here. Unless I want to put more ammunition, but generally speaking, three reloads of LRM-15 and two reloads of SRM-6 is going to be plenty of ammunition. It's already at max armor. I think that's a good one. And that way, if I lose an arm, yeah, I'm losing an expensive component, but I'm not losing any of my really valuable double heat sinks. I think that mitigates potential damage. I like it. I like it. And it still cools better than the original. All right, let's do it. Nothing like a little bit of like building craft part of the stream where we like really start looking at possible uh you know alternatives for things all right so let's repair these at the better cost here i'll repair these i might look into this later but now let's go to upgrades find armor for sure definitely gonna do top speed boosted top speed expanded sensor range sure uh jump jet movement Movement, movement. There it is. Uh, longer burn time. Yep. And jump jet acceleration. That way it jumps a little better. Perfect. Okay. Anchor turn. Anchor turn is usually pretty good. Uh, and now let's go with a... Target lock retention is nice. But let's go with one... Plus five energy damage. We do better damage with the uh, with the peep with the ER PPC for sure. Or I could do missile range and velocity. Or we could do better damage with the missiles, so they do even more damage. So I do tend to fire with missiles a lot. Yeah, unfortunately, we're dealing with things where. Oh, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go armor. Call it a day. All right. So in a year, I will have that mech. <laughs> oh, let's check out the hero mech real quick. Watch. Now it gives me the fucking Highlander HM, right? Now that I've just invested millions of C-bills and given Fahad a year's worth of work 
now it'll give me the hero fucking Highlander or the hero Atlas. That, although the hero Atlas would be fucking amazing. Hero Commando, fuck you. <laughs> You're such a bitch. <laughs> That's just the game giving you the figure. That's just great shit right there. Uh, nothing else crazy in here. Quick look. Let's get the hell out of here. Just let's go ahead and we go. <laughs> God damn. God damn. All right. Do I? Yeah. Let's do that. Let me grab a quick water refill. Give me like one or two minutes. I'll be right back. <laughs> see where I can start to open my window now. Now that it's not blazingly bright outside, get our sunset. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Re take a quick look here. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, the Bradung warriors are a gang of pirates more interested in outright theft than murder. They have zero compunction about causing death and destruction during their thievery attempts, so they are still dangerous. We believe the best method to prevent catastrophe is to find their base of operations and crush them before they can mount another strike on a defenseless populace. Okay, so we're gonna be doing another, another airstrike. <laughs> Hopefully it hits this time. It would be so nice if it would hit. Uh, yeah, we'll go salvage. We're really not that desperate for money. We've got 64, like basically 65 million sea bills, but still. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your visibility. Let's do it. Man, I needed, I needed a nice little just like weekend mech warrior binge. I've been, I've been just doing nothing but schoolwork and I'm still like behind, but at the same time, 
Sometimes you just need like a break. I really just need to do this more often where I don't go like weeks without streaming and gaming. I'll probably be more productive. I'll probably get as much done tomorrow as I would have if I had done work today and tomorrow, just because I'll be, be so much more refreshed. That's my guess. And it's also kind of what I'm telling myself. I'm, I kind of want it to be true. I don't know what it is, but, but it's a nice lie. <laughs> but jokes aside, oh. Go forth. It's like an old uh, Ice Dirt song. Go forth and conquer. I'm not going to blow everybody's eardrums out doing that scream, but. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, I kind of joke, but at the same time, I actually think there is some truth to that as far as like when you're just like burning yourself out, you're, you're going to be more productive when you do take an occasional break. I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm crazy with this. I have... I have missed this. This is fun. I'm almost afraid to jinx it, but so far the missions have gone fairly well, despite, like, shenanigans with the damn, uh... Alright. Alright, you. You should be close enough. For that to work. Okay, that looks like it did a shit ton of damage. Good. That is probably going to invite a response. <laughs> Alright guys, raise hell. Fuck. Yep. Yep. There's the response. <laughs> Had to open your mouth, Seraph. It's been going great, you said. <laughs> it was such a stupid fire. <laughs> Man, I really kicked up the beehive, as Rihanna likes to say. this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Get him before he punches you. Oh, got him before he could punch me. Oof. Oh, this guy's got a flamer. Fucking fire starters. almost overheated me. Oh, shit. Nothing like him just walking right in front of me. It's like, dude. Oh, boy. Let's, uh... Yeah, that'll do. While you guys are doing damage on all of that. I mean, it was still worth like 30% of the damage, so you know what? That was actually, that worked out pretty well. Guys, let's do some serious damage here. Keep smashing. These guys are going to send more after us any second now. Yep, here they come. Granted, these are just VTOLs, but... But it's the, just the beginning. Alright, we got... Got him. Okay. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> I guess that. 
Am I imagining things? Maybe I was imagining things. Woohoo! Oh. Nope, I wasn't. It's a tank. Come on, Seraph, you can get that shot. Oh, okay, fine. You. <laughs> Damn, I would have thought the airstrike would have gotten all this, but oh well. Oh, there's the drop ship. We got more, come on. gonna be able to just get to finish it off before the last of these uh, reinforcements show up. We're gonna have to fight these guys. That carrier. Goodbye, parking garage. Actually, I probably could have jumped up and stomped on it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Now I got two of them. I just jump over you. Ugh. Oh, fucking rifleman. Oh, my God. I walked right into them. Oh no, this sucks so bad. I walked the completely wrong way. Now that I can maneuver here. And you. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. Yeah, all right. Let's just get the hell out of here. I'm taking too much damage. Although, boy, we're close to dealing with them. Guy. Come on, we got this. Come on. Damn. Shit, that's fucking. That was stupid. Oh, fuck. And we got another goddamn dropship. Alright, let's go. Let's get the hell out. Good, let's get out of here. Oof. Man, that was bad. Oh, they only dropped two mechs that time. Well, we should be okay. Hmm. They are taking pot shots at us as we're running here. Medium mech and a heavy. I wonder what they dropped. So we got an ad coming in. That's fine. We're just going to do some cleanup on this. Supercharger. Hmm. 
AC-20 Victor, maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the ER Large Laser. We'll take that and we'll just look and see if there was anything else. Oh, small pulse. Really? Jeez. Can't believe how many small pulse lasers are getting dropped here. It's kind of amazing. Wow, you got injured again? How did you get injured? Your mech's barely damaged. <laughs> how did you get injured? My oh, God. Wow. Yeah, we all... But we all did a lot of damage. So, yeah, I think just switching the tag on um, on the Banshee has kind of solved the problem. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those demolition missions, but boy, we had some pretty good stuff. We did get a couple of good, or at least we got one good Ace uh, Ultra AC-5. So that was worth it. That was definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, so we're going to be going over to this industrial hub. because I think at this point... We're going to start making our way over here. I don't see anything else crazy. So let's head over. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go to McAllister. And let's lick our wounds. Yeah, as I look at the time, I don't think we're going to beat the game today. But we'll play a little bit more. We'll get set up toward the end of the game. That way... Whenever I do my next stream of this, which is probably going to be at some point this week. I can't promise when. I mean, hell, it might be tomorrow if I get, like, a miracle amount of schoolwork done. I do not think that will be the case. But you never know. Um, but I do want... I don't want to drag this out. So I definitely want to be at this again sometime soon this week. Beat MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. That way we could get started with clans now that it's out. Especially since it's new and it's exciting and it looks really good. I gotta finish Fallout 4, though, at some point, too. My goodness. My goodness. All right, so let's repair. Good. Nothing's actually damaged. I just took a lot. I just took a decent amount of damage. Uh, oh, wow. You... Oh, SRM ammo. That's why. We had a... We had a... Uh, we had an ammo explosion. That's what happened. Although it didn't take out the location. But that would explain why he... Why he got damaged. Um... Or that would explain why he got injured. I'm amazed it didn't take out the entire location. Although, boy, we lost half... Yeah, that's what... That must be what happened. Because we got armor. Oh, it went through the rear. That's what happened. He got shot and shot in the back. And that's how he lost all the uh, SRM. Anyway, so... But good. We didn't have to actually replace the double heat sink. It was able to just be repaired. It took a critical hit, but it's not too bad. Perfect. Start work. Good. 20 days. That's... Repair. Repair. Uh, that Victor can just go in there. We will keep that. We still have... Wow, we still have another 53 days before that Highlander comes out. We'll have that by the time we get somewhere. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Well, let's find out what that hero mech is, and then we'll go over and check out the Cantina operation. <laughs> His ass got blown out. <laughs> the only trouble experience. <laughs> Yeah, right? Oh my goodness. I'm actually not... So I'm not a big fan of Chipotle. But everybody kind of knows... Everybody that knows me kind of makes fun of my... My many very picky tastes. Um, how one friend of mine even says... If it has taste, Seraph isn't going to like it. You want it to be as bland as possible. So I'm not I'm not usually a big fan of, um, of things that have like taste. Uh, like I don't like chili... I don't like most spices. Um, <laughs> I don't like pizza except cheese pizza, um, which people love to deride derisively refer to as, ah, oh, yes, Seraph only likes plain pizza when they're trying to like, you know, tweak me a little bit. Um, but yeah, I like, I like the more, oh, charger. Yes. Let's buy that considering we need those. Oh, and there's an Atlas D. Yeah, we'll buy this. Perfect. So we got one charger. They're usually pretty, pretty cheap mechs too. I mean, for an assault mech. The question is, do we buy this hero quick draw just to get it off the market? I'm not spending 12. Considering I only have 60 million C-bills, I'm not spending that amount of money. Especially, this is not something I ever see myself ever running. It's not, it's just not a great mech. 
So no, but we will get the we will get that charger. That was uh, okay. fan freaking fantastic. Ooh, ooh, uh, I don't see anything else here that's really a big deal. Um, you know what though? Let's medium pulse lasers. Yes, I will take those. We always like lost tech. At this point, I don't think I need to buy those streak SRMs. We've got those. We are good to go here with that. Okay. Let's go to the star map. Move on down to the cantina. See if there are any good cantinas. But almost every person I know loves Chipotle. It's always funny. It's like, all right, you're going to go to Chipotle. I'll, uh, I'll head over to either, you know, such and such place to get a meatball sandwich or, uh, or go over to Publix to get my, you know, quintessential, uh, Publix chicken tender sub. Yes. Double heat sink. Yes. We always buy these. Always, always, always. That is awesome. I don't know. I might even buy those Ultra Auto Cannon 5s. To be honest. That is, those were good purchases. We, we need those. I mean, I'm not exactly rolling in more money than I know what uh, what to do with, but still, we will always pick those up when we can afford it. All right, uh, Cantina. Please give me something good. Kill one Highlander P Mech. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't see many many of those. That we would have that for like in-game years. It's freaking ridiculous. 30 warrior units. Yeah, we would eventually, we'll, we'll eventually get that. Do I really care about five flamers and that? Probably not. Wow, and a medium rifle. Man, they're really kind of stiffing me with these. But we had to go to the industrial hub anyway. It's kind of on our way. Um, and as stuff goes on, we'll probably end up going to this industrial hub as we make our way up here. Oh, we can make this in one big series now. Perfect. All right, I think we're in good shape here. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's go to HD. 276914. Haven't been. Yeah, work at this Chipotle sometimes. I haven't been to Chipotle. <laughs> I'm surprised that Freakbot staff hasn't been to Chipotle in forever. Although the. Um, I don't think the Chipotle exists anymore where we work. Did they take out the Chipotle and put something else in there? I know we had a Chipotle at our, um, at our place of business, but I don't know if the Chipotle got swapped out for anything. I think it only lasted a year, but I might be thinking of something else. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of casseroles or mixing a bunch of stuff together. This jump scene is a little different. No, oh, maybe it's not. I thought it was different. It is not. I don't think there is even a mech market here. Yeah, no mechs available for purchase. Uh, there's, there's like nothing. Here. Yeah, <laughs> there's like this place is basically uninhabited, uh, as you can see by periphery realms. Oh, okay, so this is a um, all right. So this is a periphery state that we're in right now. We're friendly. How are we friendly with the periphery? I don't think I have any interaction with the periphery. Okay. Am I missing something? Maybe I have to talk to Rihanna. I probably have to talk to Rihanna. Well, we're here, Rihanna. What are we doing? Am I... Am I losing my mind? Like, we're here, right? There's only one way to find out what's out there. We're here. Traveled to the... We're here. <sighs> Did I run into a game glitch of some sort? Fuck, I hope I didn't run into some sort of weird game glitch. Mechs are here. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. 
one. Uh, yeah, uh, shit, man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Did we beat the game because it glitched? <laughs> uh, no, no, seriously, what the fuck am I doing? Um, okay, what's what's happening here? We did. We traveled. We traveled here. We traveled here. There's only one way to find out what's out there. We've traveled there. Did it not register it? Uh, all right. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just jump out and jump back in. Maybe it wasn't expecting me to go all that far. Ah, okay. I, I managed to trip it. Okay. So yeah, that was. <sighs> okay. Speak to Rihanna. Thank God. Okay. There you are. I've got some new information, Commander. What is it? Now that we're in orbit around the planet, I've been able to conduct a cursory scan of the surface. There's definitely something here. Someone here as well. If I had to guess, and that's all it is right now, I'd say it's our old friends, Comstar. What the hell is Comstar doing here? Well, if it is indeed them, there's no way of knowing for sure until we're on the ground. I've prepared the mission briefing for you based off the information I've collected from the scan. It's less than ideal, but we're in uncharted territory here, so it's the best I can do. You're clear to launch whenever you're ready, Commander. Copy that. Gotta love the voice acting. Um, granted, I can't imagine voice acting is super easy, right? But everybody can recognize good voice acting and bad. Rihanna's voice actress is fine. Mason's voice actress is, uh, <sighs> uh, yeah, it's, um, not, not the greatest. It's not quite to like last alert levels of meme ability, but it's like, really, really dude. All right. So anyway, okay, commander, this may turn out to be nothing more than a reconnaissance mission, yet I somehow doubt that'll be the case. What we know at the moment is that there's an installation of some kind on the ground and that this installation is surrounded by a walled fortification. I've detected a sizable and active military presence in and around the target location as well. Who that force belongs to, we still don't know. If it is Comstar, it's safe to say you can expect a hostile reception. Hell, Yamada himself may even be down there, which would turn this into a sleek or into a seek and destroy mission. Right now though, all we have to is conjecture and that's kind of a dangerous thing to rely on. So be ready for any contingency. Once you're in the field, We'll have to play things out by ear, which means I'll be updating your objectives in real time. Good luck, Commander. So we will accept that. I'm sorry, what the fuck just happened? Nowhere? What? Oh, it warped me here instead of... Whatever. It definitely... Yeah, it definitely glitched. It definitely glitched. Because it was not supposed to do that. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to be a game-breaking one, but... That's bizarre. Alright, now it's giving me the contract that's here. Okay. Maybe it didn't expect me to actually make it there. Maybe I was only supposed to get close, but anyway. You're treading into the unknown, Commander. There's an installation of some kind on the ground, and it's surrounded by a walled fortification. Rihanna has also detected a sizable and active military presence in and around the target location. Who that force belongs to, we still don't know. It's your mission to find out to investigate what lies inside that fortification. If it is Comstar, take aggressive action against any and all targets that present themselves. Okay. So, C bill payout we'll do this. Yeah, we'll do damage coverage for this shit. For sure. And then we'll go salvage shares the rest of the way. Let's see what we've got. I mean, I could give this new Highlander a try. <laughs> I could. I don't know if I like the idea of experimenting with a, uh, with a mech that I haven't kind of really worked with a whole lot yet, but at the same time, I'm, um, I'm a little curious to see how this is going to go. 
I am actually somewhat curious. But let's uh, let's stick to what I know for sure right now. And then if this gets a little jacked up, then we'll switch to the alternate Highlander and we'll go from there. Let's at, let's at least do one and then we'll just kind of see how things go. And it's been a while. I actually don't really remember. Like, I remember vaguely how this whole thing goes, but I really don't remember the specifics. The installation's fortified walls are approximately one click west, Commander. Head there and make your way inside so we can see what we're dealing with. Roger that. Looks like everybody's able to follow me. That's good. Nobody's getting stuck. Yeah, let's not go through the weird arch. Hmm. Not a surprise. Oh, I missed it. Oh, is there another one up there? Oh, heavy tank. Yeah, you guys got it. Oh, shit. Got it that time. It took a hit before. That thing was heavily, heavily armored. Wow, that hurts. Oh, fuck. Fucker. Those could have done a lot of damage if we didn't take them out in a hell of a hurry. Got that turret that time. The trees provided enough cover for a minute, but once we whittled down the foliage, it lost its cover. That was a nice shot. All right, what other bullshit do we have? Hmm. I don't think it really matters which way we go, even though the nav point is clearly there. Oops. Shit. All right, let me think. Do I want to go through all that? Let's, let's go the nav point option, because at least this way we have a little more room to maneuver. That's not good. Yeah, it's gonna come out of there in a second. Got our lock. Wow, we just obliterated that assassin mech. Granted, it was four on one, but still. Like, it didn't even make it off the fucking asphalt. <laughs> but yeah that's where we would have had to go before I still think we made the right decision going the way we did what else we got I'm thinking we're going to have a lot of ambushes going through this spot okay yeah I can't completely destroy that building 
that so it doesn't explode as I walk by it. That turret. Freaking buildings exploding as we walk by them. Heads up. VTOLs inbound on your location. You see them? What is that? Oh, the turret. There's the turret. Where are the VTOLs? I don't see them. There they are. <laughs> that should take those out. I think we got a bogey behind us too. Yep, we do. I think you guys are gonna get it. But let's just make sure it's dead. Yeah, it's a tank. A little late to the party, buddy. Fine. I didn't want to use my gauze cannon on it, but it was too heavily armored. Right, I <laughs> explode. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> and he's a lot of repair facilities. Maybe I'll wait for my friends to uh, catch up here at the crest here. We're gonna go in single file here. Target ah, stupid rock. Oh, my God. We'll let that stalker catch up. Assuming I don't just switch to it. Dude, come on. Thank you. I guess that's as far as you're walking. Comstar have been here for a while, but it looks like they're still expanding their footprint. Whatever they're doing here, they're investing a lot of time and money in it. Here, get to cover. So I'm not being shot at by literally fucking everything. Destroyed. New target oh, you're hide. That will not save you. I can jump. Bitch. Nice job, guys. Texture should load correctly on that until I shot it. <laughs> That's okay. that. Oh, what new bullshit is going to show up out of nowhere? That's a nice office building. Was well, a nice office building. Fucking Comstar. The heart of the facility is up ahead, Commander. Come on. Oh, there's a mech. That's a problem. Okay, you're on the other side of that. Now, that is not good. Okay, that changes my mind. Back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Damn it. Yeah, I knew you'd punch me. Whatever. Let's get this cover here. Hmm. Where, 
is that there you are I didn't get that somebody one of my uh, lance mates got that one nice job all right good Well, I'm taking a few on the chin here, but so far we've been outrageously outnumbered. <laughs> Let's take that tank Got him that time. We've finally found a demolisher unit. <laughs> finally. It took till now to finally encounter a demolisher unit. Jeez, man. Oh, what fresh hell are we going to deal with here? I almost wonder. Let's... Let's switch briefly. I just want to see which ones I'm in here. Good. Yep, perfect. Okay. Let's, uh, wow, you were completely turned around there, buddy. Switch gears to the Atlas real quick, because the Atlas can take a little more punishment than the Highlander can. And with all the co close quarters combat, this, I think, is a better fit. I should have taken the Highlander that had the Katana. I mean, it just occurred to me, a Highlander with a Katana, man. <laughs> Almost feels like that's just right. See if I can get anything up there. A significant number of radio telescopes are right ahead of your current position, Commander. Head that way, and let's take a closer look. Uh, I think I just shot one of them, but sure. What else is over here? It's about to die. Nope, we got it all. Oh, we got it all. Nice. Wow, those are a lot of radio telescopes. Holy shit. Can't fire those like that. Come on. Okay. Better. Got a couple tanks going on here. So I'm blowing those up because if you step on them by accident and they explode like that, they tend to do a lot of damage to your mech. Kind of why I'm just shooting at those. Oh, I hate the look of this. Let's take the high ground here. Make our way over there. <laughs> Gigantic Comstar logo on it. I'm not seeing any enemy contacts, Rihanna. Something doesn't feel right about this. Reminds me of the ambush on Kavanaugh. I don't think it's a trap, Commander, but stay sharp. 
There's no way it could be this easy. Roger that. Yeah, I feel like this is a trap. I don't actually remember, but it's 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 totally a trap. Those forces are attacking their own infrastructure, Commander. They'd rather destroy those buildings and the data contained within them than let it fall into our hands. You need to prevent that from happening. Oh, right. I shouldn't have shot the. Uh... Oh, good. Okay. It didn't. Target Come on. Oh, that's what I need. Wrong one. Okay, fine. Nice shot, guys. All right, let's head over here. Did we get... Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. That's a lot of the enemies. In my case, from my current position, I can't see any of these assholes. Can't hit that from here. Ah, that's what I didn't want to do. Got all those mostly. Come on. Okay, we got him. Good. Oh, still got a couple more after assholes after here. Nope. Don't even come in. Okay, got it that time. Of course, the tricky part is you can't hit the facility. Oh. Ho, ho. Managed to hit that bastard with that. That was awesome. All right. Destroy. How many? As long as one percent is okay, uh, we we win. Okay, I think we got that guy. Yep. Nope. Still is out there. Okay, now we got him. <sighs> okay, that was. In the main research building. Oh god. Oh, they're gonna drop right on top of us. That's gonna suck. Oh fuck. They're concentrating all their fire on that main research building at the back well, of the compound. You need to protect that building at all costs, Commander. No, 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 no. Don't get in front of me, man. That's right, motherfucker. Yeah, I knew we were going to do some damage to this guy. Okay, this shit just got crazy. I think we already did inch this. Oh boy, we got more though. All right, so these assholes showed up here. And okay, now that that's blown up, let's go investigate what the hell's going on over there. All right, now let's switch gears, switch back to this. Yep. Fuck. Okay, now let's back up. Yep. Oops. He went the other way. He dodged. <laughs> Come on. Fucker locust. Oh, I missed him. I just missed. Yeah, I know. A nice shot, nonetheless. A lot of fucking work. Oh, I sh freaking. I think we got this locust. Oh. 
Yeah, that was totally bonkers, man. <laughs> Fortunately, we happen to be right where the dropship landed all those assholes. Otherwise, that would have been even more crazy. All right, let's see what the total damage is here. We got some pretty good shit. We got another top tier ER large laser. That was pretty sweet. Holy fuck. What the hell did we just get? Okay, we killed a lot of mechs. We killed a lot of mechs. Let's see. Whew. That was fucking crazy. Okay. And once again, I'm just shy. Uh, but I don't have any assassins. Uh, you know what, though? I'll take the Phoenix Hawk. And yeah, we'll take that LRM-10. My god. <laughs> the sheer damage disparity. <laughs> and I was skipping mechs. So that's just, uh, that's also pretty funny. But yeah, total kill. Wow. So total kills 50. So that we were, it was four of us versus 60, 70, 78. It was 78 to four. <laughs> 78 to four. Now granted, not, it wasn't 78 on four all at once. But still. Uh, yeah, and, and we didn't lose even an arm. Not bad, but you know it's only going to get worse from here. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> Hell of a job holding off all those Comstar forces, Commander. They were clearly trying to obliterate their own installation, preferring to destroy the information they collected rather than let it fall into our hands. But thanks to your efforts, we were able to preserve the main research building and some of the lo data located inside. The good news is Spears and his interstellar expedition staff have already begun analyzing the recovered data from the facility. The bad news is the Comstar techs managed to delete much of the available data before we had a chance to intervene. From what we can tell, Comstar set up this stellar research facility in an effort to study the missing section of the star map, which would explain that array of radio telescopes. Comstar's, Comstar's own Explorer Corps, their version of interstellar expeditions, have been hard at work using the information gathered here to search that region, system by system, no doubt looking for more Star League facilities to pillage. The region in question in quite, is quite vast and almost entirely unexplored before Comstar arrived here. Thing is, we don't know much how much how much progress Comstar has made. I guess only time will tell. When you've had a chance to clean up, come see me on the bridge. Spears has found something he wants to discuss with us. All right, well... Job rewards. We killed 15 mana core units. Yeah, all right. I mean, at this point, we really don't need that. I don't think we can repair here. So that's going to become an issue. We're going to need to be swapping mechs fairly often. That's all right. Hey, Commander. I've learned that Spears' people were able to recover some additional data from the Comstar Research Facility. I'll let Spears explain the details himself. Okay. Go ahead, Sebastian. Commander. Nice work saving that main research building. It's been invaluable in our efforts to better understand some of Comstar's actions. I'm sure Rihanna has filled you in on what we initially discovered. Yeah, Comstar was using radio telescopes to help map the lost section of the star map, then using that data to aid in their search for more lost Star League facilities. Broadly speaking, that's it. Digging a little deeper into the remaining data, my people were able to find something quite curious. We found an additional map overlay Comstar were using in conjunction with the ancient star map. It shows that they've been tracking the movement of people and ships through this section of space. More specifically, people and ships headed into the inner sphere from somewhere out there in uncharted space. What ships? What people? What does this have to do with my father and the coordinates he had in his possession? I wish I had an answer for you, Commander. The truth is... It's a deepening mystery, but one I intend to solve, with your help. What I'm positive of is that Comstar is on the verge of discovering something major, something they're worried we might find first. That star map is the equivalent of a treasure map, except it's missing one crucial piece, and I think we have that missing piece. Not all of it, but the part that matters the most. The X that marks the spot. 
You mean one of the coordinates we have in our possession? Precisely. But we still haven't decrypted the second set of coordinates, never mind the third. Not yet. But my people are working with Rihanna. It's only a matter of time. Except that Comstar isn't waiting around for us. No, they're not. Which is why I think we should give them a swift kick in the shins. Slow them down a bit. And buy me some time to get the second set of coordinates unlocked. Spears has identified a Comstar communications hub that we can attack and disable. Doing that should hamper their ability to communicate in this region of the periphery. It'll not only slow down their search, but force them to divert resources to rebuild and protect against future attacks. I like the sound of that. By the time you get us where we need to go, I should have the mission briefing ready. All right then, let's do this. Good luck, Commander. All right, good to see you, Freak. But in, in case you're still, uh, in case you're still here, let's. Uh, whoops, let's. Uh, do a shout out. Nice job, Seraph. How about you try actually spelling it correctly? There we go. Playing Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Nice. Uh, assuming you're still around, I appreciate you, buddy. We'll probably raid out to you in a little bit. Uh, while well, I'm at it. Do a quick shout out here. That looks about right. One of my awesome mods. I don't think she screams, but <laughs> we'll do it anyway. <laughs> we'll just we'll just get everybody while uh, while I'm here. Uh, <laughs> I think it's damn. It's uh, what. How do I spell his username? I know there's an underscore in it. Um, oh, it's that's why. I think it's just one. Yeah, the underscore is important. But oh, was it two of them? There it is. Marvel's on stream. That's him. OK, it's two underscores. Yeah, yeah. Or that. <laughs> Oh, man. I wish it, you had an option of just hitting tab and it would just auto-complete based on, like, my followers list or, uh, yeah, the third time's the charm, you know, when I actually spell it correctly. Um, please, 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 Seraph, actually have that spelled correctly. I, yep, looks like I got it the first try on that one. Yes, okay. I think I got everybody there. Uh, if I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, technically you do stream. <laughs> that's a good point. I'm like, I think I got everybody who streams in here. <laughs> that's that that I know is at least here. Uh, but yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I got it wrong. Wait, can I... Is it case sensitive? No, it can't be case sensitive. Huh. Okay, it's just no game. I'm surprised it's not Fall Guys, because I, I figured it would still have that, but maybe, uh... Just how oh, it finally cleared it. It finally cleared the data. <laughs> like, technically, it's in there. It's technically in there. Right, so now we're back in here. Oh, yeah, it only goes so far back. Gotcha. Uh, oh, and I know he's not... I don't think he's in here, but... My good friend. Let's do it anyway. You know, I need to figure out dark star how you um i know you told me how you did it but when you do the shout out so it actually does not only the the uh like the resplendent bot stream elements shout out but also to do the like the actual twitch shout out so they actually do see it on their activity i know it was i, I remember you telling me how you got it to work but i'm like man i really should get back to making that work i was trying to mod settings and played some castlevania revamped but the audio was messed up so i deleted ah and that would tr that would that would uh, fool it up, foul it up. So, uh, so yeah, let's take a look. Let's do one more. Let's do one more of this, and then we'll probably read out to Freakbot here. Uh, let's view the transmissions. We already, yeah, let's hit Comstar where it hurts. We already know what we're doing here. Uh, at this point, now we get to go up even further, but we can't repair these where we're at. So the question just is, 
do we way advance and just keep with a completely different stable of mechs or do we go, go back to the uh you know what let's go back to the industrial hub because we're already fairly close to it this is the time to do that just have a second chat bot that has the uh command set to the big shouty ah that way you can trigger both bots with a single command that's how it right that i'm like i remember him telling me how that works and i remember thinking oh yeah that doesn't seem too complicated, but yeah, you gotta, but it can be kind of finicky. Let me guess. Now, yep, there's, there's the energy variant Highlander after all this time. <laughs> oh, God. Huh. No, I think we're good with the, with the, with the one we've got. I think we're good. Let's repair you. Repair you. Man, you lost a lot of armor. But no component damage. Woohoo! Okay. So we are in good shape here with all that. Let's go back to the star map. Oh, we also have uh don't see any don't see anything crazy. But let's take a look at the cantina. Collect two warhammer still with the heavy rifles, man. I think we do oh we you know what we might right, dervish. 6M. Let's see if we have the Dervish 6M. I don't think we do. I don't even know if I have a Dervish. Oh, I don't even have a Dervish. Forget about the 6M. Sale? No. Why would it be on sale? Fucking canteen. <laughs> or we could just do this and get a couple extra Seabills while we're at it. Uh, I think we do have two Warhammers. Like, well, you know what? For the 10 million Seabills, that might be worth it. Let's see. Because I could use 10 million sea bills. We do actually have two Warhammers. Fuck it. Let's do it. Job rewards. Select items. Yeah. Let's go with the ones that are not damaged. Perfect. I don't really care about the heavy rifle. But I definitely want that money. Uh, then I also have emote wall set up to do the emote shout out on top because I have no qualms dying to do my stream preview being cluttered. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> oh man. Good shit. Good shit. So we don't see any particularly special pilots, but we look anyway. Uh, well, we don't need to do anything in here. Oh, I don't even want to do the arena. I want to do the star map. All right, now we'll go in here, do this. Let's do this one. And I think we'll experiment with the Katana Highlander and we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking that Katana is gonna do some major damage when we're up close and personal to things. And this is probably gonna wrap us up for the night before we raid out to Freakbot because I am starting to get hungry. <clears throat> Rated Commonwealth invades Draconis Combine. I don't remember that in the lore. <laughs> Luthien Armor Works uh, announces. Yeah, I don't think that invasion ended up being like a big thing, but yeah, I don't remember that at all. That's funny. So yeah, the typical, typical, we're doing all this and the Inner Sphere continues to just go to shit. Uh, I had one death in Eternal Darkness due to inconveniently timed raid emo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, thankfully, whenever anything's going on on the stream, I don't actually see it on, like, my screen. I have a second screen for all of, like, my, um, for my thermals, so I have an idea of, like, how warm my video card is, how warm my CPU is, that's where my chat is, uh, that's where all the OBS stuff is. So it's nice that I have a completely separate monitor on this side, which is why you always see me looking over here why I'm looking at when I'm looking at chat while my gaming monitor, my primary gaming monitor is over here. Uh, so yeah, that, that wouldn't necessarily, so I could be shameless like that. And it wouldn't actually affect my, at least it shouldn't affect my gameplay. Uh, although in my case, like things just happen. It's like, Oh yeah, I really should have known better than that. Uh, I'm a mad lad running everything on a 43 inch 4k TV. Although that's gotta be beautiful. So I've got my 4k TV on my, on, uh, on the first floor of my place. Uh, with my home theater PC hooked up to that. 
So I'll play like I'll play games on that, but I don't do any of like I don't do any of my streaming on that. I don't do any of my homework on that when I'm writing papers uh, or anything else like that. Uh, and I the 4K that is that is a thing of beauty. But boy, uh, I assume you're a little far back from it then because I'm I'm up close. I think I've got a I think this is a 32 inch. I think this is a 32 inch screen that I'm dealing with right now, and it's 1440p, which for me is enough. I find when you're trying to push 4K pixels, you just can't hit like 120 frames on 4K uh, on most things still. Uh, I pretty much use it as if it's a four 1080p monitors. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> oh, we're almost with the Thunderbolt mechs. We're almost there. Oh, and we killed two demolisher units. We're finally getting there. All right. So contracts. We got this. We've identified a Comstar communications hub for you to attack and destroy. Out here on the edge of nothing, this is a key tactical resource that is helping to drive Comstar's operations. Taking it out will force them to divert, divert resources in order to rebuild and protect the site from further attacks. More importantly, it'll slow them down. For a while, at least. And uh, if I'm remembering correctly, the mission reward for this is pretty awesome. I think... We're just going to go max salvage shares just to see what it's like. And let's go with that Highlander. Let's go. Oh, that looks awesome, actually. Oh, my God. That looks awesome. Although I probably should do the paint scheme because it's got uh, it still has, I think, Black Inferno's paint scheme. <laughs> Because we got it from, right? We got it from them, or where did we get that from? Oh, right, no, we got that from, uh, I think we got that from the Jaconis Combine. Um, maybe I should paint it. You know what, let's go in there and let's paint it really quick. Let's go in here, paint the mech. Let's, uh, let's select none. We'll go in here and apply. Okay, now we've, okay, much better. Yeah, that looks better. Ready. Let's do this. Booyah. I know I shouldn't experiment with this mech on like hard missions, but I do kind of want to see how it goes. Although I could have saved it before it happened. But you know what? If this mech just sucks, whatever. I still have my primary mech. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Source communications hub. It needs to be reduced to rubble in order to limit their operating proficiency in the region. I've marked its location on your map, Commander. Copy that. Okay. Weapon groups. Your PPC. That is going to be one for sure. Uh, actually, I think. I think the assault katana. All right. Well, that I want to be button three. For sure. Um, I think we'll go that route. I think this is the way we'll do it. Because for the most part, if I'm at short range, I'm going to want to be peppering them with small pulse, uh, with small pulse action and missiles. So let's go this route. I mean, this should, oh my God, this does 62 damage. Holy shit. All right. Well, let's see. All right. <laughs> All right. I mean, it took me a while before I finally got to using the DLC, the melee DLC. But we finally got here. You know, I'll be like, can you imagine if I'm like, oh my God, I should have been doing this the whole time. We might, we might have that moment. We might have that moment, chat. <laughs> Why didn't Seraph just do that? Uh, get to Comstar's communications hub and we're going to, we're going to destroy every mech we encounter. Do it. Whoops. Yeah, 
I thought I'd be too close to it. Wow, you're still... I got it on that time. Shit. Right. I'm so used to that. That's not good. Gotcha that time. Okay, gotcha on that. My god, what the fuck is this shit? Holy shit. Holy fuck, man. Whoops, wrong one. I gotta get used to that. Holy fuck, that was bonkers. I'm not close enough. <laughs> Bitch. That take that, bitch. Boom. <laughs> Man. Got you that time. Got you that one. Okay. Okay, the katana is fun. The katana is super fun. Holy shit, that was crazy. Okay. On the plus side, with so much in the sky, hard to move. Rain, just shoot up, you'll hit something. That was that was crazy. That was fucking crazy. I can't believe how much shit just swarmed us. <laughs> I feel like we handled it pretty well, all things considered though. I sliced the shit out of that tank though. Hell yeah, alright, I'm I'm digging this katana. I need to find a top tier katana. There could be only one. <laughs> okay, we've reached that part of the stream where Seraph has started to lose his mind. <laughs> oh, right, I don't want to be wasting missiles. Oh my god. I wonder if I should switch. Well, yeah, I don't know what other button I would do for that, though. So, yeah, I think this works. This does. This works. Here we come. What's going to come to defend this fucking thing? Hey, guys, wake up. It's Judgment Day. Does Highlander have a melee weapon? Uh, this Highlander does. Missed it. Not at that time, though. Keep hitting the wrong button for some reason. Oh, killed it. <laughs> I lost the target. Target received. Engaging. Come here. Come here, you little bastard. Oh, <laughs> Uber crit. Yeah, you didn't like that, bitch. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Although, man, these keys keep peppering me. Wrap on a stick. Oof. Keep damaging that side. Alright. Oof. Fuck. Come on, got you. Oh, you're sticking. Nope, I got you. Oh, it blew off my... 
blew off the damn katana. Oh, that sucks. Come on. Come on, I can't aim it. There we go. Got you. Oh, that sucked. Man. Oh, well. Well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it's a shame this is a demolition mission. These always take forever. can't believe I lost my katana already. <laughs> that sucks so much. I was about to totally cleave that mech's head off too. <laughs> I was going to ruin that thing. Oof. Oh, well. Let's walk through this walls. more. Got him. Oh, shit. Oof. Well. All right. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Ah, uh, that's why. Ugh. Man, this is just crazy. Let's walk through this building, destroy whatever that fucking thing is. <laughs> the job ship just completely ruined uh, a tank that was over here. Wow, that was uh, that was crazy. That was crazy. So the mech concept works. It was just this was not the map. This was not the map to experiment with that <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So, and of course, now that I have enough salvage, they don't really give me anything good. I guess I'll take an awesome and I'll take these, these, but man, that's, uh, this is pretty loser grade, uh, salvage. Yeah, this is all the salvage they give me. Man, that blows. That blows. Wow. I should have taken the money. <laughs> I literally should have taken the money. Yeah, that was expensive. We, uh, that was a lot of money. 
We we lost a lot of money. Well, it's actually not that bad. We only lost like two million C bills in that. Maybe three million. Uh probably similar numbers though. 32, so it's uh 46. Um 61 70. 70 it was 70 against four there. The problem was it was basically 30 on four twice. <laughs> Which is just very hard to come out unscathed when yet you when you're so crazily outnumbered. That was bonkers, man. We made it through okay. I mean, we didn't lose any mechs. Uh we just got one mech pretty jacked up. But all in all, that's actually not it's really not too bad. That looked entirely like that looked like entirely too much fun, Commander, really. But hey, if you can't enjoy your work, why do it, right? On a more serious note, now that Comstar's forward comms have been disabled, they'll have to divert valuable resources to rebuilding and protecting the site. Not to mention their explorer cores will be operating in the dark for a while. That should slow them down plenty. Nice work. We did get at least an AC-20 uh, top tier, and they gave us a decent medium pulse laser for my trouble. Let's speak to Rihanna. Wow. Yeah, got the arm and the torso. Basic. The torso is destroyed, and the arm got completely blown off. Ugh. 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 <laughs> you know what, though? Probably better for that mech to get ruined, that like that badly damaged, than the one I typically bring with me. This is what happens when they throw more enemies instead of better piloted assault mechs at you. Yeah, that is true. Although better piloted assault mechs could be trouble also. Hi, Commander. This encryption program is fascinating. It's also frustrating as hell. Each set of coordinates your father had was designed to be progressively more difficult to unlock, though I'm not certain why. That said, I've been tackling all three of them in parallel. And with Spears' help, Progress has accelerated nicely. Truth is, if it weren't for the advanced computing resources made available by IE, I'd never have unlocked them. That's my long-winded way of telling you that I've managed to crack the second set of coordinates. We've finally unlocked another potential clue to your father's past. That's great. I hope these coordinates reveal more than the last set did. Have faith, Commander. Get us to that system and let's see what we find. You never know. We might just get lucky. Copy that. Inform Spears that we're on the move. I don't want to wait around here a second longer than we have to. Understood. All right. So I think what what we're going to do here, we'll accept that. Uh, so then we get really deep in. Uh, but what we might, you know what? Because I have a feeling I know what the reward of this is going to be, and it's a nice reward. Somewhat nice. But just the same. I think what we'll do is let's go back to the industrial hub. Let's repair. Let's see how far are you in game years. Uh, we'll check real quick. As soon as it comes back to the main menu, we'll see. It's It's been a lot, though. I mean, it's sort of the nature of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. The game advances a lot of years. Uh, so we are currently in uh, 3039. And so, wow, okay, hold on. Let's take a look at whatever. Okay, yeah, T tier four. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. Um, we will take that. So we're in, we're, we're pretty far in the game. Once we save, it'll tell us exactly how many kind of years we've progressed. Wow. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take a tier five large laser, please. And thank you. Let's, uh, replace the assault katana that, uh, that we lost. <laughs> Doh. Doh. Uh, now let's go to battle max. Yeah, ba yeah. This let's let's take a look. How what's the damage? What's the damage? Yeah, we lost all that shit, man. We lost all that shit. But I didn't lose any of the double heat sinks, and I didn't lose the ERPPC. So, let's see. Yeah, the only thing I couldn't re replace was the SRM with Artemis. Damn, couldn't replace the SRM with Artemis. No, not the beast! Not the beast! Hey, SRM, how are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seraf does not does not like bees. Uh, I am I am not a fan of of the bees. Uh, I think we'll do a tier three. Uh, we'll do a tier three. Yeah, that's not terrible. We we really only lost like a fraction, but that ended up being a pretty good. This ended up being a really good mech. So how are you, Saram? 
Uh, good day, Sarah. You're back on stream. I am back on stream. I'm still behind massively on schoolwork, but I decided I needed a mental health day. And so I decided to binge the ever living heck out of uh, Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries today. I'm actually hungry and I'm about to raid out to Freakbot. Well, we've been on here for, oh, wow, we've been on here for almost six hours. So, yeah, it's been a nice, healthy stream. It's been fun. Uh, good morning over there. And uh, so, yeah, we have a Highlander that actually has a mechanized katana. It's awesome. It's super fun. Uh, but yeah, we had a good, we had a good set of, um, this was a good, a good gaming session. Uh, let's just check upgrades. Yep. We did upgrade all this pretty nicely. So let's just do some quick repairs here. Uh, nothing too crazy. We'll put this over here. We'll put that over there as we wind down here, do some logistics. Ooh, a katana, right? And it, it's fun to swipe. Uh, I, I was about to completely cleave this other mech with it, but then the arm got blown off. I was like, no, no, no choppy choppy. <laughs> <coughs> but we did deal with a number of, uh, of SRM carriers. It was funny because I was like, where's serum for the serum carrier? <laughs> yeah. But we did cleave a tank with it. So that was pretty satisfying. So it was good proof of concept. Uh, but we're closing in on the end of the game. And so these missions tend to be... Uh, pretty crazy. So there were two times there where we were outnumbered like 30 to 4. It was crazy. I mean, Nade would joke. You could probably even see it in the screen. It's like, good news about being that outnumbered. Just shoot into the sky and you'll hit something, right? Well, it was also like super late for you, I'm sure. I, don't, I wouldn't expect you to hop on at 2 in the morning. Um, but I'm glad you made it. It's good to see you. Uh, let's actually, let's, let's save now that we can answer... Phoenix Nade's question. Ooh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's buy that. Let's buy that. Okay. Is there anything else before I sign off that we want to buy that would be... You know what? Let's let's do that just so that we have them. Uh, I don't see anything else that's like, ooh, we really should have that. All right. So we're still good in money-wise. Let's... Um, this is where we're at. We'll go to Graven Hague next time and check what that uh, cantina is, and then we'll presume it. We'll resume out into the periphery to deal to deal with that. So let's let's go home. Let's save. There's my my first officer, my executive officer, Rihanna, who is so much better than the fir your executive officer Darius in the other BattleTech game, who lets you know that reinforcements are coming after they've already shot you. She at least lets you know. Before they even show up on the scopes, hey, Commander, you've got inbound. And usually she'll tell us what it is. Like you got inbound uh, VTOLs, you got reinforcements, uh, you know, uh, re you know, you know you got enemy battle mechs on your way. She's awesome. She's freaking awesome. She's actually responsible. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Why couldn't I ban Rihanna for the Battletech game? But yeah, no, she's a, she's a godsend and fucking rules. Uh, so let's save. Let's see. All right. So days elapsed. We have elapsed eight, nearly 9,000 days in game. So let's see, Nate, how, how many game years is that? Uh, how many game years is that? We've gone, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah these, so these, here's, here's some, I kept some of the, 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 um, the, uh, kind of big moments, the, um, not chapter marks, but, but you get the idea. Um, these are some of like those main moments um, as we kind of go through. And so now we're we're pretty far in there. Uh, how many years is that? 365, 8839 divided by 365. Uh, I should be able to do that math in my head, right? Um, so yeah, let's let's do a quick quick. Um, uh, how, how many how many is that? Calculator. Calculator. Seraph. 88. Eighty-eight thirty-five divided by three sixty-five. Uh, so twenty-four years. Basically, we've been in the game for twenty-four years. Um, so that's how long we've been a mercenary company. Uh, and that's that's yeah. Oh my sorry. <laughs> and so um, so I don't want to spoil things for this game, but for anybody that's familiar with the lore, as soon as you hear Comstar tracking people coming from outside the periphery and going into the inner sphere, 
they don't go into the clans in this game, but when Comstar is talking about tracking people, yeah, Comstar's they no, I don't think the Com, I don't think the Comstar knew that this was the Exodus coming in. But they were definitely on Comstar's radar even before the clans ever show up. And so you get little you're getting little drops. Uh and that's what's going on in here. And it ends up being a precursor to uh now the next game, which is I don't I don't know if it's an official sequel or if it's um because it's a completely separate game. You can just get MechWarrior 5 clans without MechWarrior 5 mercenaries. So it's not a DLC. It looks it looks really good. It looks like a really good story campaign. I'm very excited to get to it. Uh so yeah. So when I decided I was gonna stream today, I'm like, oh, we gotta we gotta at least get close to the end of this game so that we could play MechWarrior 5 uh clans which is totally Phoenix Nades and Ghosty's fault because both of you sent me on Discord uh, clips and previews for, um, I don't know if Ghosty's here. He likes to lurk, kind of like I do. I like to lurk, <laughs> so he may be around, but it's his fault. <laughs> uh, I'm literally looking forward to it. So anyway, uh, let's let's wrap this up. Let's get to the ending stream part. Let's see if FreakBot's already running. He's probably been running for a little while now. And uh, we will get this up and running here uh let's let's see here uh goodness gracious uh you know what i'm just gonna do it through i'm just gonna do this through the web browser so yes uh channel update where i normally say when i'm gonna be back on while i get this whole raid thing configured and uh the bottom line is Wait, i have no idea when i'm going to be <laughs> thank you for the stream there good to have you back on twitter yeah thank you thank you it's always nice to be back um so let's hit up the stream manager. But yeah, I'm not really sure exactly when I'm going to be back on. I would like to be on at some point this week, but we'll just kind of see what happens. If I'm really ahead of my schoolwork, then uh, then we'll get on. Oh, it says it's unstable, but I guess I, I'm assuming everybody it looked OK while we were uh, while we were streaming today. Maybe it's just complaining because average average stream bit rate too high. huh? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, it should be configured. But yeah, I mean, if it's a. If anybody noticed anything, yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, I have a feeling too. I think Twitch just complains about it. Yeah, it seems super clear to me. Of course. Yeah, Twitch Twitch is doing Twitch things. I wasn't really all that worried about it. I didn't see anything on OBS, but it is funny how it's how it's kind of up here going like, ooh, the stream's unstable. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think it is. Ah, right, good. He's been up for about a half hour. Ooh, and he's playing Doom 2 Hell on Earth. He's playing a Doom mod showcase. Oh, that's always a good time. So yeah, let's raid Freakbot. We'll say hi. Um... Try and get, tell everybody, uh, yeah, Twitch, you're unstable. <laughs> yeah, seriously, Twitch just likes to do that. But I will see you all, a pro uh, you know what, this is the best way to say it. Um, I will see everybody approximately uh, later. And in the meantime, uh, Friends Don't Let Friends by Ubisoft Games, all of the things. Thank you for dropping by and spending some of your weekend with me. I had a great time. And I will see you all approximately later. Let's have a good time and say hi to Freakbot.